Oh well. Whatever. Whatever. Hello, my friends. Messed up the countdown. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've done a live. Two whole weeks. It feels like forever. And that was the one thing I forgot to check was the countdown camera. <laughs> Not like we need a countdown anyway, it just gives me that minute to figure out what I'm doing with my life. So, anywho, hello, hello, everyone. Let's just hope that everything works. Chris and I figured out... You froze up. Oh, I did not. Oh. I'm fine. Oh, my computer froze. Ugh. I was in the middle of talking, sir. Ah. <laughs> uh, we think we figured out the cause, why the camera was freezing. It was a network issue. So let's hope. And well, the only way, literally, the only way we're going to know is by keep doing lives. And we'll just, we'll just see if we actually fixed it. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see. So yeah. Hello to all my peeps. Um... Yeah, I'm just, I'm completely frazzled. It's It's been, it's been a crazy couple of weeks. In fact, the, things have been just absolutely hellish to say the least, but I have some plans. I do have things um, listed and linked in the description box below. They're also pinned, the supply list, the visual supply list is pinned in the live chat. Can you mute your phone, please, unpaid intern? We are not starting this off good. <laughs> We're a mess. We're not professionals. Uh, anyway, so yeah. Hello. Hello to um to everybody. And yeah, let's just hope that everything is is working. Things have been just just wonky on um on all fronts. You know? You gotta love it. So anywho, like I said, I have plans. Today we're only going to do one card, although what I'm making, it's the typical, my same old, same old, um, you could totally make multiples of, but I thought I would keep things a little simpler for my sake, because already, like, we can't even start this live without chaos. So, yeah. Hello to, to all my peeps. I'm, I'm very glad you guys are here, and put unpaid and turn into timeout. Truth. <laughs> I would, but he is helping. <laughs> He's, he helps a lot. He's, and we are. We're both all over the place, so I can't even get mad at him. Because I'm just like, I don't know what I'm doing. I was like, where are all the buttons? How does this work again? <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway. Um, okay. Okay. Let's. There we go. There we go. I'm, I've got plans. I, we're we're going to see how things go. I got a stencil. Um, every, like, and again, everything's linked, etc. Chaos is part of the fun. I, I hope so. Sometimes it's it's entertaining at the bare minimum. Other times, like literally, I'm just like, it's been a long time. It feels like yes. since since we've gone live. So I'm just like, mm, uh, I'll get over it. Well, Nerves. Whole redesign of a lot of things. Yes, Chris week. had to like rebuild some network stuff, and we just. Uh, but I hope. I hope. All fingers crossed. I'm hoping that we finally, after almost a year, you know, figured out why we had this bizarre issue. So, we got all the things. Hello, Kath and Sylvia. All you guys, hello. Um, yeah, everything, everything should hopefully, hopefully be good. Hello to Stockholm. Okay. Stencils. Oh, brush. I knew there was something. Thankfully, they're within reach. All right, got my blending brushes. We're going to do some rainbow ink blending. That's what I'm in the mood for. So I got cardstock. And then I don't know exactly what colors I'm using, but I linked um, this this set of inks is on sale right now. Um, at Simon Set, like the whole, not, there's more than, like I have a stack of them. But the 13 colors of this line, they're on sale and they each come with a blending brush. And I have it and that's for these, you guys watching live because this, the code ends tonight. Um, I have a discount code uh, in the description box below the video. So specifically, like if you got the, the set that I linked to on sale and then you use that code, it works out to like almost half price, really. So 
all the fun things. And yeah, we're going to do some, some good old fashioned rainbow ink blending and let's just, let's just get into it and, and see what happens. That's, that's, that's the best I can do. So I'm going to set aside the other things. This is the tiled art layering stencil set. It's kind of trippy looking, kind of fun. So let's just, let's just see what happens. So we got all these pieces. I'm thinking, and I'm probably going to use this one on the inside as my plan. I wasn't, I'm not going to use all the layers on the inside of my card, but I thought this would be kind of cute just to give the, the illusion of the color. That's the plan. That's the plan. Like I said, we're just, we're just winging it today. So yeah. Um, I knew Amy loved that rainbow earth. Oh, Tim's live yesterday. Oh, there was so, oh, oh. If y'all didn't watch Tim Holtz live yesterday, do it. It was like two and a half hour, almost three hours long, worth every second. All of his makes were phenomenal. He did demos as well, and they're going to timestamp all of that tomorrow. Yeah, they'll timestamp all of it so people that want to see, because his like demos of how certain uh, wafer dyes work, you know, whatever, the assembly. Um, so you can click ahead to that, but it is so worth watching the, oh, the makes Kath is in the chat. You guys can tell her, her, her makes were awesome. The rest of his team's makes were amazing. And yes, they're all, there's so much rainbow stuff. I was like, Woof. love it. Okay. Okay. Let's figure out what I want to do with my life. I think, yeah, I was going to like blend on the cardstock first, but I'm changing my mind. Like as I'm doing this, I'm going to blend over the stencil. So... his live tim's live was me all his lives are so good so so good i i was working on other stuff while i was watching so i couldn't fully participate in the chat and stuff but every once in a while i was like posting there i was like oh my god it's amazing these makes are amazing like jaws on the floor because <laughs> yeah i i'll have to actually go back i do go back and watch his lives because they're good for inspiration all right i got my little my alta new my well, it's new little sticky mat, and I'm going to use both of them. Because um, I'm going to do the inside of the card at the same time, which also means I need to move everything out of the way. Because, yeah, yeah. Stick those little protector pieces. Okay. Ah. Okay, there we go. There we go. So. We got our little grippy, our little grippy mats to hold the card stock in place. I've got my my card base. Like I'm not reinventing the wheel today, literally at all. I got my trusty piece of post-it tape that I stick to the top of my deck of machine until this thing becomes too greebly to use anymore. I just keep reusing the same one. And I put that right at the score line so I don't get ink past it when I go to blend on the card or the inside of the card so let's line up our stencil so stencil number one and as is tradition i start with yellow because that way i don't get my yellow contaminated into um all the other colors so this first one's canary and that was the other thing cloth because yeah I do not wash my blending brushes I just that that's it that's it let's let's do this and and see what happens so so if we do like pink orange go in with yellow and I'm gonna do a lighter hand with the first layer because we want to build it up with the other stencils. It'll make more sense as I go along. And again, you guys, my brain, I am just, I was literally saying to Chris before we went live, I was like, can I go now? <laughs> I don't want to. Wah. We've had a rough couple of weeks and today is just being annoying and everything's not working and wah, wah. But it's fun once you actually start start doing it and start chatting with everybody everything starts getting better 
Okay. And actually, I'm going to just, I'm going to do the card front with this stencil, and then I'll do the inside. Usually, I move it around back and forth. You guys see me do that in a lot of my videos. But the way this is going, there's no point. There's there's not, like, extra ink. Because usually, like, with more, with stencils more, like, say, like, this size, where you have more stencil space, I usually have, like, a lot more ink sitting on the stencil, you know? And that's when I'll move it over. I can get a lighter impression, yada, yada, yada. But that's not going to work with this. So... We'll just do this background, repeat with a lighter hand on that side. It all makes sense. Hopefully. Hopefully. So we do pink or yellow, and then we'll do the orange. So this is pumpkin. This one is bright. Switch brushes, Amy, before you contaminate the yellow brush. You just spent so much time explaining that you didn't want to break, you know? Uh, do alternate, alternate grip max work better than waffle flowers? They work the same in my opinion. Um, I switch, I've switched between them both. Um, the alt or the waffle flower one, that's, it's a little bit bigger than this. Cause this is the side, the alternate one, this fits in their, their stamp wheel. So it's like seven and a half inches. And the alternate one or the waffle flower one that I use all the time is eight and a half, I think square. It's been discontinued as of right now. Um, because waffle flower has been having manufacturing issues and they're going to bring it back. I just like later this year, I will let people know once, you know, so I've just switched over to using these more often. That's the only reason they work great. You know, um, thank you. Is it Zan or Zon? I always forget. Thank you for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Um, okay. Yeah. So yeah, grip mats. They're all great. Always the biggest thing to remember with these is they are like good quality photopolymer with all the brands of the ones that I've used. So Altenew, Waffle Flower, Pick a Fence Studios. And because they're photopolymer, you clean them like you clean your stamp. So you can use a stamp cleaner that's safe for photopolymer, gentle soap and water. The only two things you need to like follow and it's the same with your stamps is do not use alcohol on them to clean them and do not soak them because it will destroy them. Those are the only two things um, you need to like remember. Zon. Okay, Zon. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat. I really appreciate it. So, okay. Let's do, I'm going to tap off because this orange is bright. So we're going to tap off a fair bit of it and I'm going to start with a lighter hand. You know, so I'm not like, uh, we'll, just, we'll just go light. Something that I struggle with, you know, like getting a soft blend, not my forte. It, it takes practice. In fact, I'll just keep using what's, what's on the little lid of my ink pad here. There we go. So that was orange. And then for the pink, I'm going to use ballet. Welcome, Robin. It's always exciting when, when newbies show up. Welcome to the chaos. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So we're going in with ballet. And again, just light. Tap her off. And then blend her in. And we'll have pink just just like so so how's everybody doing today like i said my uh, the last couple weeks and the whole last month was absolute garbage hot garbage and the last couple weeks have been hell but things are looking up it's getting warm out here it is which is super nice but that also just adds to the workload because we, <laughs> we got a yard to clean up and all that fun stuff okay so, so yeah um, I'm a heavy girl who does not understand light. Oh, I know. It's, it's just, it takes practice. It really does. And I, I, I have to physically like remind myself sometimes like don't uh, go light. So now I got lime, lime green, lime green. Give that a little, that was a right. Okay. 
I think I was capping the other green in this before. Whatever. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We'll be fine. Everything's fine. Whatever. Whatever. Alrighty. Um. Hello to rainy Chicago. It was raining here last week, but the weather was, it was awful. It was so cold. <laughs> Yeah. And we still have snow on the ground. Like, it's now finally, like, really melting. But it was, like, raining all day. And it was just icy and snowy and just gross. Gross. It wasn't that, like, refreshing spring rain, you know, that's all that we love. You know, this was, like, basically miserable winter rain. <laughs> I'm over it. Kind of like a cold November rain. Yes. Kind of. It was just like, it was just miserable. It's it's nicer when it rains, when it's warm, and it's like, ooh, it's washing away all the grime and snow mold and crap from winter. Yeah, this wasn't it. Okay. So we did green. Then we'll go in with blue, which is lake. Um, hello, Leah in Germany. Has spring arrived yet? No, we're close. We're getting there. Like, it's finally started warming up, and we, but, like, yeah, we still have snow. Just instead of it being, like, a five-foot-high pile, it's, like, a foot. Yeah. So. It'll take another couple of weeks before it's fully gone, I think. Well, depending on how warm it gets. Yeah. You know? We're, we're getting there. We're getting close. I, I was already thinking today. I was like, oh, I can't wait to go to the greenhouse and get plants. Yes. That's always the best part. Although me at the greenhouse is like being at a restaurant, you know, when your eyes are bigger than your stomach and I'm like, oh yeah. And I fill up my vehicle with plants and then I have no idea where to put them. You always manage to make them fit somewhere. I do. I just shove them in. My planters are usually just absolutely ridiculous. The talk of the town even sometimes. Yeah, people do like, I give, I, I plant all kinds of things. The only thing I'm not going to get, and I don't remember the name of them. Like I told you guys, I have a black thumb. I picked up some weird plants last year. Snapdragons. No, they were not Snapdragons. Oh. Snapdragons I love. No, they were those weird ones that had those weird little almost like seed pods. And when you touched them, they burst, remember? Yes, and it was sticky. Yes. They freaked me out because I don't, uh, yeah. And they were ugly. After they bloomed, they were ugly and they attracted ants like <laughs> I have never seen so many ants in my life. I've got, I don't, I don't even, and again, I don't even know what type of plant. I just, now I know. If I see them in a greenhouse, I will not purchase them. It was just, that was a bad time last year. I was so, ugh, gross. They were gross. So yeah. And yeah, weird little like seed potty things that I, I freaked out when it, when I touched one and it burnt. I thought it was like a bug was like jumping. Ugh. Anyway, anyway, adventures. So many fun little adventures. <laughs> Uh, wondering why card makers usually use wait I missed that uh, wondering why card makers usually use pink at the top of the rainbow color instead of red personal preference or something more personal preference I just I always go for pink when I'm doing rainbows it, depending on the, what I'm making every rare once in a while I'll pull out red but I go for pink I just I like it if I had, a, if I was doing a bigger panel, I would probably do like all the way red, did it all the way down to purple and then do pink. Cause I usually do pink after purple cause that's where it fits. But yeah, I always go for pink over red. It's, it is definitely personal preference, but yeah. So I, now I missed fuchsias. Maybe that mm -mm, maybe I'm not a hundred percent positive. Because honestly, I just, when I'm at the, like, greenhouse, because it's all stuff that obviously will grow locally, because our weather sucks. Um, I am generally just, like, especially for my little planters, because they're just um, annuals, so I don't have to worry about, like, well, will this, you know, survive the winter? Blah, blah. So I just grab whatever. I'm just like, ooh, that's pretty. That's pretty. I just grab stuff at random. I don't even care. And yeah, last year I grabbed those things, and I don't know what they were, and they were pretty in the greenhouse never buying them again they were they were horrendous i've just ants ants everywhere okay first reveal oh see it's always the best part when you peel the stencil off so we're gonna just repeat this on the inside of the card but i'm gonna make it quick and light-handed 
light, light handed so that it's not too dark because you guys know I like to have something on the insides of my cards and yeah if we and it doesn't have to be perfect on the inside either heck the fronts don't have to be perfect perfection is literally overrated like we get we get too hung up on perfection in card making life in general really it's I thought everybody was getting better, but then that's one of the, <laughs> don't, don't even get me started on the downfalls of social media and everybody in their fake lives and their fake lifestyles and, you know, all the things. It's like, nope, stop trying to compare to the Joneses. It's never ended, really. It's existed since before social media. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody trying to one-up the other and, yeah, outdo your neighbors and blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, perfection's overrated. It's a lie. It's a lie. Anyway, okay. So we've got the orange now, so we're back to pumpkin. And yeah, I'm like very light-handed, barely getting ink on my brush so that um, it's not as, even this though, like this intensity would be fine on the inside of the card, but I like it being more muted on purpose. Um, because I just think it just kind of gives that little that little something. Um, okay, there we go. One year, my husband had a cocoa mulch to our garden, and we had squirrels everywhere. <laughs> uh, thankfully, that hasn't been an issue for us. There are that. I have kind of a love-hate relationship with the neighborhood cats because love it that they keep the rodents down for the most part because that is not necessarily like gophers and that, but I assume because they're around, they kind of drive them off in a sense. Yeah. That's... Also, I think our soil here is too dense for them to be like digging. Like They prefer to be in the yeah. Yes, but... There's like mice and stuff around here. Thankfully not like in our house, but I've come across them in our backyard. And yeah, the, the cats keep that down. But then the cats also like we found a huge hole between us and our neighbor's fence. And I couldn't figure out what creature dug it. And then I actually caught one of the neighborhood cats in the act trying to shove her fat self through. Like the cat was it's just cute. It's just bad. They also mm -hmm. go after the birds. Which is yes, and they go after the birds. It's annoying little goobers because we want to put up bird feeders and stuff and yeah the cats are just uh, yeah first world problems no. <laughs> uh, little goobers anyway okay I have the same problem with plants only actually grow them from seed I would like to down the road but that yeah that's a it's a lot of work to grow you know because you have to start my thing always is i think when i actually think about it it's like yeah we should like start stuff from seed We're, you have to start it way ahead of time especially here and yeah when i think about it it's like oh it's way too late because <laughs> we have a very short growing season the best time to plant is like in like january no it's usually like now before now well yeah. march ish i think is usually when Around here, you want to start stuff from seed inside. And yeah, I... I was thinking more like some food stuff. Oh, if you mean like actual like garden stuff, yeah. like food. Yeah, no, that's different. But you start that fairly early too. Okay, back to... I forget what color I even... I think I was using like... I've already messed up what I was doing. Whatever. Again, welcome welcome to the chaos, everyone. Oh, <laughs> uh, Blue. I had to remind myself what's the next color in the rainbow. <laughs> uh, yep. Yep. All that to say, though, spring can't get here soon enough. I had so many people commenting because, of course, my last couple videos were florals, you know, and I was going on about them. And so many people commenting, they're like, oh, my irises are blooming. I'm just like, you guys suck. <laughs> I'm jealous, okay? I don't know yet and won't know for over a month from now 
it what I have that has survived. Yes. Like, we don't start even seeing green poke through the ground till mid-May. Yeah, halfway through yeah. May. So we've got about a month to go before I can start, like, obsessively. And I, I get obsessive. I, like, wander around all my little areas. And then I'm, like, pulling around. I'm like, look, come look at it. There's a little green nubbin right there. Like, it survived. So I do that throughout the entire month of May. Sometimes into June, depending. So, yeah. It'd be interesting if we had such a bizarre winter. We did have a very bizarre winter, so I just, I literally am excited by anything that survives anything, because I just, I suck at it. I throw stuff in the ground and then leave it up to nature. The stuff in the front will get really well fertilized, though. I've talked about this before. All the local rabbits <laughs> and all their little rabbit poops. They, they well fertilize the front and gnawed off part of my flowering crab again because they suck. So anyway, there we go. See, just slightly lighter. Woo. Okay, set that aside. I'll clean that later. So that's the inside for now. So we can just ignore, we can ignore this for now because the only other thing I'm going to add to the inside probably, possibly, maybe, is a sentiment. We'll see. I don't know yet if I'm going to bother doing that. We'll just see how this goes. So let's put this one Actually, yeah, I'll give that a quick wipe before I put it away. Um, we received 20 centimeters of snow last week from Quebec. Yeah, you guys got hit hard. I I was kind of surprised that a lot of that bypassed. I think that was when we got all the rain. Yes. And then further east got snow. Which is odd, because usually we get all the snow, you know? But... Yeah. Oh yeah, the rain was good. It was just depressing. <laughs> uh, it was depressing. Okay. Okay. Hello, Irma. Yes, welcome. You made it. I haven't gone very far. It's not a. It's not a big deal. I'm just kind of stick those on there, so I can have more space, and then we'll get back to now. We're gonna start layering because this stencil set has multiple layers okay so we had the biggest one now we've got this one and thankfully it's pretty this one's actually really easy to line up because you can just look through the stencil and because they have those little like notches you know i just do do there we go not bad at all so for this one, I'm going to use all the same colors. We'll just start going in with a little heavier hand, which gets a little fun, more fun, because, yeah, you don't have to stress as much about it. So, as always, again, starting with my yellow, which was canary, and then working my way back and forth create this rainbow. So we got yellow, back to um, weird, had a bunch of snow. Did you guys get snow in Alberta? I was telling Chris because that popped up for whatever reason in my feed and it was like, oh, Alberta is supposed to get a bunch of snow. So we were wondering if you guys did because usually if Alberta gets snow, we get snow. But we haven't, no. which is nice. <laughs> uh, was so nice out here. Yeah really felt like a really nice spring day. Yesterday was really nice out. It was, I don't know, it's such a nice feeling like going outside and not having to wear 15 layers and all our winter gear, which is another thing we have to clean up is all the winter gear. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I guess we probably don't need to be sending. Yeah, the kids don't need to go to school in ski pants and toques and mitts and all the things, although we usually hold off on cleaning up all of the winter gear because it's karma. You put all that stuff away and a blizzard hits. Yep. That's, that's just how it goes, you know? So you just try not to tempt it. Okay, so now we're going in with the ballet. And then now we work our way down to the greens. 
Um, miss the. I guess one of your faves with the black, white, and st black and white stripe paper. Oh yes, you can never go wrong with a good black and white stripe. That, oh, and especially with rainbow anything, black and white stripes go um, perfect. Uh, oh, okay. So the ink laid down, already laid down, won't reactivate and get on your brushes. No, no. Like even though these are, because these are by Simon Says Stamp, and it's the the same formula as Simon's positively saturated inks and they are water reactive but doing stuff like this um like if I was to like spray water etc we would get like water spots because they are water reactive but when the ink is like in there it, it would take a lot to actually like if I was to um go over this with like my lighter brush it's not going to pick up like this pink it would only pick up what's on the stencil you know because I've got like ink sitting on the stencil here and there but the card the the cardstock itself the colors aren't like moving you know what i mean okay hopefully that makes sense so um i took the rabbit population around the house now six years to recover <laughs> after your cat yeah yeah the rabbits around here though the even though the cats that are like People aren't supposed to let them like wander. Like we have bylaws and stuff, but like anyone listens to the rules. And even though I, the cats I've seen are big, the rabbits around here, a lot of them are enormous. Like I would put my money on the rabbits. Oh yeah. Cause like I've seen them when they're running around and they're huge. So yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't miss. I wouldn't miss with those rabbits. Like, yeah. And I'm pretty sure the, because again, the cats around here are just, they're so incredibly lazy. Like I was telling Chris earlier, I see them, they sit up on our fence because our, us and our neighbors have sheds kind of, and then there's like a kitty corner and there's like protection sheds and the cats like to like sit there and then they sit on the fence and then they taunt the neighbor's dogs that are like outside. Cause you know, they let their dogs out into the back, into the yard, onto the deck and stuff. And the cats will sit up there and like taunt them. So it's just, you'll hear like just absolute chaos going on and I'll go look out the window and it's like, yeah, it's the neighborhood cats just being jerks. <laughs> oh, the entertainment. Well, that's my, that's my life. That, that's my entertainment. So yeah. Okay. Back to blue. So we got lake again. That was, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know what I'm doing. Hopefully. Hopefully I know what I'm doing. We'll just, we'll just see. I keep getting distracted. It's been a while since I've had a chance to chat with you guys. Even though it's only been two weeks, it feels longer. Also, disclaimer, I just remember. Um, I haven't mailed out the last lives cards. They're going out this week. Like I said, the last two weeks have been awful. And I did not get to the post office. So I'll be mailing out those out when I mail out today's winner, which the the document thingy for those of you guys that are watching live to, to enter your your address, which again, we do not keep anyone's info. I don't share it, sell it, you know anything it's all it's just for the card um yeah i'll be i'll be much better about mailing things out this week because i have to leave the house a couple times this week anyway i don't have a choice so i'll be getting stuff mailed out okay <sighs> just wondering uh just give me a sec uh wondering what type of blending brushes you use and recommend i ha oh i have lots of blending brushes it just it depends on the video you're watching i do not show regardless of what video you're watching of mine if i'm showing it i endorse it because i'm not gonna like promote something you know um i have these linked in the description box below i also earlier when i was talking about this the ink set I linked to because these are on sale they come with blending brushes you get one blending brush for every ink color with the, the set um they're not colored the brushes are white but they're the rainbow splash brushes which I thought was a sweet deal so yeah you can get like 13 ink pads and a brush for every color and I was like man but they're all they're all great they're great so okay that was the second stencil and already it looks fabulous like Again, how can you go wrong with rainbow? And then we got the third. I'm not sure if I'm going to do all four yet. We'll see. We'll see. 
going to layer on this one. Okay. And with some of these colors, I have the darker shades or, you know, there are darker shades. So like I was using Canary and then I've got Dandelion, which is just darker. And then same with the pink, I was using Ballet and then there's Princess. So I'm going to use that one. Orange is only orange. There's no other darker one with this. The green, I was using Lime and now I'm using Grass. Same with the purple. There's no other like darker shade. There's only the one. And then I was using Lake. But then I have C, which is just a little bit darker. Okay. Um, watched one of your live videos where you explained why to have brushes for pigment inks and several ones for regular inks. Yes. Yes. That is something with brushes. The manufacturers have this recommendation. I follow that with blending brushes. Whatever I'm using for my, these are dye based inks. I have a whole separate set of brushes for pigment slash distress oxide inks because you can go from a dye to a pigment with a brush. It's fine. You know, this brush that I've been using, I could use it in an oxide. But once I get those pigments into this brush, if I was to go back to my dye inks, there's a good chance you'll start contaminating the ink pad with those pigments and you can wreck your ink pads. So I, I do recommend. There are other people, there are many that they're just like, I've never had a problem. Great. I just, I, I would not feel okay. I would feel gross if I was saying like, oh, it's totally fine. It's fine. And then someone messaged me and was like, I wrecked all my ink pads. I would feel, oh, I'd feel awful. So I do keep a second set. And if, if, if you're someone that likes to wash your brushes, great. Wash them in between. I don't have time for that. I was like, I just added a second set of brushes to my cart. I was like, I'm, I'm not, I know I will not be able to wash my brushes because they do take, you can wash them. Gentle soap and water. I would recommend like keeping them like this, you know, to let them dry so that you don't have ink or water pooling and like, you know, eroding the glue. But these can take like days to dry. You know, they're, they're dense brushes. So I've never washed them. I don't have time for that. I don't have time for that. I have enough stuff to clean. Anyway. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's go back into now we're doing. Ooh, this one was juicy. So juicy. That's the other thing to remember with these ink pads. Cause like, look how much ink was there. Ooh. And the Simon Positively Saturated Concord and Ninths inks. They're all the same like foam pad. So it's not your linen and felt, you know, the firm pads, like a distress ink, like that type. These are very like squishy and they're very saturated. And I have, I've hardly used this one and I wasn't thinking and I just <laughs> super saturated. So you just light tap. That's all you need. And be just very intense. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like that one was so intense. I actually did sort of reactivate. So that's one of the times you actually could like, pull up ink from before because I had so much on this brush. I don't really care if it's fine. It's gonna be fine. But yeah, that was that was a lot. I was too busy talking <laughs> and not paying attention. Whatever. It happens. It happens. Okay. Um the ink is like a good starter kit. Yes. And that's actually why Simon um did this little rainbow splash line because there's inks and some accessories and little stamps and different things and the whole point of like doing this was to create kind of like a beginner stamper selection to make things one a little bit easier because it is it's i feel bad sometimes when someone is like brand brand new you know and gets introduced to card making and it's overwhelming especially nowadays because there's like a bajillion you know content creators products like which is awesome but it's overwhelming for for a newbie i get it so yeah it's i did did i do the orange no i didn't okay i'm getting distracted so yeah it's a good beginner and it's also the reason that they did it too was um to kind of make it easier for people that struggle with picking colors to make a rainbow you know of colors so it's like here you go it's all thought out for you which I've said that a million times when, when brands do the thinking for me, I'm all for it. 
the less thinking I have to do, the better. Okay. You say you have enough stuff to clean. Like you have kids that repair those. Oh yeah, it never ends. I have children and I have an unpaid intern. Although the unpaid intern does, <laughs> it's true, does a lot. He is not a, you know, man baby, thank goodness. But so, some days, some days, I'm just like, why? Why is there a half finished can of Coke in the pantry sort of a thing? And that's just, that's just the unpaid intern and his brain on. You, yeah, you saw something shining, got distracted, and then you're like wandering, where's my drink? Yeah, things like that. Oh my goodness. I, don't, I didn't even remember I had a drink. <laughs> that's usually how it is. The urge to drink has been satisfied. Yeah. I must like, continue to haul this thing around. Yeah, so you'll just leave it in the pantry. Like the amount of times my kids are like, I found this in the fridge. Or like, they're like, why is this here? I'm like, you know why. And they're like, Chris. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's funny. And I can't even really, I don't do that around the house, but I do that in here. Do do I was that. talking about that in like recent videos. I lost, you know, it was one of my lives or whatever. I lost like my whole entire pack of watercolor paper. Couldn't find it for the life of me. I lost it in the bin that I keep all my watercolor paper in. Had it in my hands and I'm at one point and I was staring like in my hands, staring at the pack and my brain was like, that's not, you know, these are not the, what is that Star Wars quote? Codes these aren't the droids, droids you're looking for. That's what my brain was like. These are not the droids you're looking for. And I just like, may yeah, maybe there was like some Jedi mind tricks going on yeah. that day. Dark Cause Kenobi. it was, it was ridiculous. Cause yeah, when I've like found it again in the, and I just, I sat there for the long, I'm just staring at it and I'm like, how, oh, I don't even want, whatever. So yeah, I tease Chris all the time, but all tongue in cheek because I do the same darn thing. Anyway, going to do more blending. And everything always looks like a hot mess when the stencil is still in place. Okay. Um, do, do, do. There's boys on several occasions, extra kids when they need it, always things coming up. Oh yeah. Yeah. I've started just naming the, you know, the ones my friend, my kids bring over their friends. It's just like, you're now child six, child seven. I'm like, just welcome. Here's your snacks, whatever. <laughs> We're used to it. It just is what it is. <laughs> I've unofficially adopted many children and it's, it's just life around here. It is a little chaotic, but could be worse. Okay. Now for the, as Tim holds as the dismount. Oh yeah. <sighs> Look at that. That's like trippy. I love it. See, I see I made a little bit of a mess with too much ink. Don't care. Oh yeah, because the I was like, what? What are you doing? But yeah, the 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 live is on a leg here. Yeah. See? Yes. Isn't it cool? It is really cool. It's very trippy. I like it. Um, why not? Let's do the. We'll see how much. Because like the thing too with layering, um, kind of this bait, like the same colors over and over again. You can only get to so much. I'm sure we'll be able to get the, the last impression. But like remember like the cardstock has been saturated like one, two, three, etc. times. But I'm just curious to see how this will look. So line up that one. Isn't it neat? It's just I love stenciling. I have a video coming soon, later this week. And I just I like couldn't I was just like I love stenciling so much. Because I do. It's fun. It just, the just the feeling more than anything of every time you peel a stencil off and it's like, oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Okay, super juicy, light taps. Don't need much. And we're just gonna, okay, there's one. And we need the orange again. Okay, orange that in there Put that a bit right there 
Doop, doop. All right. Like that. Psychedelic. Yeah, it kind of is psychedelic. <laughs> it's like, woo. Love it. Okay, I'm going to set those out of the way so I don't knock them over. Back to... Okay, I want that one. Oh, yeah. All our little neighbors are out with their, like, little ATVs and whatnot. Yep. The weather is nice. Put away the snowmobiles, close the quads. Yep. The quads and the mini bikes and all the things. There we go. Build that up a little bit more so that it really... I want it to... There we go. Okay. I forget how much fun stenciling is and I rediscover and want to stencil all the things. I know, right? I'll go, because I do go in spurts with just everything. And then, yeah, like, I'll go a long time. I'll be using embossed coal or stamp, just whatever, and not doing much stenciling. And then you come back to it and it's like, oh, I forgot how much fun this was. <laughs> but it's like that with everything. You know, next time it'll be embossing colors and I'll be like, I forgot how fun these were. <laughs> uh, again, I need more hours in the day. Seriously. Okay. Got it. Well, actually, let's make that a little darker. Just, just cause. There we go. That was green. And blue. And then purple. I never liked stencils because of paint bleed. Yes. Like when stencils first really, cause like they've always kind of existed in different ways. And especially like there was more in home, home decor before it really got into like paper crafting. But I remember when stencils were first, you know, like a couple decades ago. And I was like, eh, cause that was the thing is you generally use them with paint. And it was such a pain in the butt. You know, and the paint oozed under, and you just didn't get good results, and all the things. And I was like so like side eyeing stencils, but now they're one of my favoriteest, one of my favoriteest things to use. But I was the same way about like when wafer dies were, you know, coming out, standalone wafer dies, not like basic, you know, rectangles and decorative shapes and that sort of thing, but like you know, standalone images, florals, etc. I was like, I would rather stamp. Thank you. Yeah, no way for dyes are like one another one of my favorite things. So, but also ask me because people always ask me like, "What's your favorite color? What's your favorite this? What's your favorite that?" And I was like, "Don't ask. Seriously, I don't have an answer for that. I am an equal opportunity card maker. <laughs> I like everything. I like too many things. That's why I'm broke all the time. <laughs> I like too many things, man. Okay, got my brushes. Okay, ready, ready." <laughs> that's fun I show up close up so you guys can see it proper there we go show it to the unpaid intern there you go Dang. isn't that fun we're gonna splatter the heck out of it too because of course i am <laughs> okay first let's get that off the the little mat and then let's clean off this guy so that I have one less thing to deal with after the live because sometimes the cleanup after the live is absolutely insane. And huh? Watching it from the reflex Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it's always interesting seeing how things look to me in person versus how they look on screen. It's weird. Like. And I've had people comment on, and I, I've always made it very clear, like, you know, on like with the photos too of my cards, I suck at taking photos, you know, that is not my strong suit. And I just, it's like snap, do it, lighten it up a little bit because my lighting sucks. And then I throw it up on the internet for you guys. I, I don't care. But yeah, I've had people comment something because they're like, oh, I wish we could see like this aspect of the card. And I'm like, it's there. I, it's there. I just, my photos suck. <laughs> Uh, uh, welcome to our world. Not enough money to get all the things. Truth. Uh, what house? Why do you need a roof over your head? I know, right? Pesky bills. Always getting in the way. It's not that we need a roof per se. It's the kids need a roof. Well, that too. You know, kids need to be fed. 
They cost a lot of money to raise. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> we need nutrition. Yeah. Comfort. Mm-hmm. Okay. Splatter. Splatter all the things, friends. That's what we're going to do. Um, I linked to many different splatter things. Um, yeah. What all am I going to use for splatter? I have plans. I might use all three things. Let's see what we're doing. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, splat box just helps kind of contain all the things. You can always cut down your own cardboard box or get a plastic container. There, there's options, you know? I just, I got this and it's linked. Um, just, you know, Tim Holtz endorsed. Tim Holtz splat box. And I like it. It's got its little angled sides. Best five bucks I've ever spent because I paid for this whenever he released this seven years ago. However, it's been a long time. Um, love it. Love it. And you guys know that watch me regularly. Like mine is many layers of sludge. <laughs> uh, so yeah. So we're going to do splatter. Splatter. Um, ooh, not just any splatter. Oh yeah, we're gonna do some gold. <sighs> oh, that one neighbor of ours that has like a little, they have little mini bikes. They're so annoying, but at the same time, really funny. Just seeing like someone that's way too big. It's like a circus show sometimes. Someone who's way too big riding the, the little mini bike. Anyway. Um, gonna do gold. So, added some water. We'll let that sit for a minute. Gonna do my picket fence, paper splatter, watercolor, liquid white snowflake. Like, I'm almost getting down. I still got, considering how often I use this, like, you guys see me use this in a lot of my videos, I still haven't hit halfway yet. Because I was like, oh my gosh, I don't want to run out. I need to order more. But I'm I'm doing good. I got a good amount of this. Okay. Um, I wonder how much thicker it is now compared to when you got... I bet, hey. I have a new one. We I showed it in... It might even have been the last live a couple weeks ago. But I got, yeah, we could almost weigh it. Because I do have a postal scale that weighs like down to like the gram. I bet this thing probably weighs more than, you know, how it does originally with... Yeah, the amount of schmutz I got on it. But yeah, let's add some shimmery splatter. And then my little fan brush. You can add that to the chat. Fan brush? Well, no, the shimmery splatter. It's all shimmery. it's all there. Gonna add some shimmery splatter, which doesn't show up much on camera. You can kind of see a little bit of it, but it's just gonna be pretty. Can't go wrong with shimmer. Okay, clean that off and wipe this off. Okay. And then, okay, I don't need Picket fence PFS. No, it's already linked, sir. It's in the supply. <laughs> already there I'm pretty sure I got everything linked that I you know in my head anyway um, that I wanted to use so now I'm using my Gonzo Tombi starry colors my very used like I've hit pan on this thing you can't really tell but it's it's nearing the end of its life let's kind of scrape off don't need a lot so we'll add a little bit of gold okay add some gold because you can't go wrong with gold. Okay. That's all I wanted of that. So that was my Gonzo Tombi. Let that dry back. Oh, thank you, Leanne. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Thank you. Splatter. Yep. With an L. 
Oh, and I have seen, there have been comments, people have literally messaged me, Spellbinders came out with a little jar of like white splatter, like with an L, and I laughed so hard the amount of people that were like tagging me and messaging me. And they're like, Spellbinders is on your side, it's got an L, like splatter. <laughs> uh, yes, and yes, I will, I'm gonna get my hands on it. It just, I saw it, it sold out before I could order it. It's back in stock. You can look it up and link to it in the chat. Just Spellbinders. Spellbinder Splatter. I think that'll bring it up. Um, yeah, the warning with that, though, for anyone who hasn't. I saw uh, someone's video and they opened it up and the jar looks like you get, like, nothing. It... Yep, yeah, that stuff. The jar is small. And it says on the jar, it's, like, 0.25 ounces. Like, you open the jar and it's, like, not even half full. However... It is insanely concentrated. You do not need much. So, yeah, I am going to get it. I'm going to try it out. I'm sure it's fabulous. Like, Spellbinders makes good stuff. Um, I just, yeah, I got such a kick out of people messaging me. And, yeah, they're like, they, they're on your side, too, as is Tim Holtz, because it's a splat box with an L. Anyway. Anyway. So, yeah. Yeah, yay for, yay for Spellbinders. <laughs> they're on the right side of history. Oh, the drama. Honestly. Who'd have thunk? Okay. Black splatter. I'm not going to add a lot of this. It always freaks me out. I get asked this a lot. What 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 products do I recommend? When it comes to black, black soot distress paint. Full stop. Works the best. Um, the thing to remember, though, with the black soot distress paint is Ranger, that makes distress products, they do not add fillers to the distress paints. So the consistency varies because it just depends on the color, the pigment, etc. And black soot being black is like liquid. It is not, it is not your typical paint consistency at all. Like it is, it is liquid. You don't need much of it. It dries permanently. Just treat it with, with like respect and a little bit of caution because it just, it is permanent. I end up with it everywhere. But for black splatter, this is my go-to. And you don't need to water it down at all. Like, it is liquid. I put too much on the here. Like, that's literally how much. You don't need much. But we're just going to add just a little bit. Not much. Just here and there. Because I like a little bit of black splatter. It just works. Okay, we're good. So yeah, always wash your brush out. Because like I said, it dries permanent and you do not want to wreck your brush. Clean off your little palette. That's what I mean. It just, it gets all over everything. I'm not worried about with the palette at all. There, we're good. So now we just need to let this dry. But it's got shimmer. That's the picket fence, the liquid white watercolor, and the gold of the Gonza Tombi, and the black. Fabulous! Okay. Um, Christy Marcotte has been using the Spellbinder Splatter, and it's so opaque and thick. Yeah, from what I've seen of it, it is. I'm, I need to get it. It's just, again, I got, you know, it's like, oh, do we buy groceries this week or craft supplies? Groceries always win. So we're going to let that guy dry. And then I did die cutting literally in the five minutes before we went live. <laughs> uh, this is the splendid wafer dye. This was from Simon's um, most recent release, the March release, the Be Bold release. And I decided to use that. Yeah. So I just die cut it from scraps of white cardstock and then the outline from black. And I've got little, little fuzzy die cut hairs, which I've shown this before. Where's my, there's my painting. Oop, as I knock everything over. We're okay. Yep. Uh, painter's tape. You can use like washi tape too. You just don't want anything like super sticky. So like painter's tape works. 
But when you have those little die cut hairs that are just being annoying, just that. And then you just kind of press it into the back of the die cut and it'll pick up a lot of those little, a lot of those little hairs. All those annoying little buggers. Yeah, them. So. Because I've talked about this, a lot of times when your die cut plates are like at the end of their life, which <laughs> mine kind of is, like I've been using the same plate for over a year now, but rather than follow my own advice and just use a new plate and avoid the little, the little hairs and stuff, I'll just do stuff like this. Because that plate's not warped, so I'm just going to keep using it until it breaks, which... I don't know if anyone's ever actually broken a Empress plate, but not for lack of trying. Okay, there we go. And then when it gets a little like filled up, you just rotate the tape to a clean spot and do it again. Like a lint roller for paper. Yes. And people have done that works. That actually does work. Lint yep, using a lint roller and just rolling it over. Again, the only thing you have to really pay attention to is whatever die cut you're doing that with. If it's a very delicate die, a lint roller, be careful because you could end up, you know, grabbing the cardstock and ripping. You know, if it's very delicate. But that's also why I try to like hold it, depending on what I'm doing. So you're knocking things over, sir. So yeah, that's, that should be good. That should be good. Um, my son wants to just take a belt sander to your dive light. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never. There is no way, not to mention, if you were to do that to your dive plates, like le legit, if you were to take a sander to it, you're, you're making the plate thinner. You're not going to get, it's not going to work as well in your die cut machine, you know? Um, However, if a plate's at the end of its life and you've got a replacement, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of experimenting, really. I just, I'm not gonna, again, I'm not gonna recommend those sorts of things. <laughs> but it's always interesting sometimes, some of the crazy little hacks that people come up with. Sometimes they're great. Other times, some of the hacks I see people post online and I'm like, why? This does not help this actually takes more time and in the end probably costs more money so we, um but yeah sometimes people come up with some pretty creative creative everything everyone's so creative uh, uh, it's become my favorite phrase in like the last six or seven months Everybody's that's creative. actually i miss that woman's they used to post that on Twitter when it was still Twitter back in the days because I think she's on TikTok and I don't do TikTok at all but yeah she was the one that would always like react to people's like it was cooking videos and they were always like trash cooking videos and she's like everyone's so creative and I just she was so good I miss that honestly I would download that stupid app just so I could watch her content because it just made me laugh everyone's so creative <laughs> they're literally uh it's but that kind of crap makes me angry. People that make trash food content, like on purpose, like yeah. rage content, like wasting food. Like several hundred pounds of chocolate bars. Kind of oh yeah. When they're like putting like piles of food on their like kitchen island, you know, or like mushing stuff with their hand or like mixing things in their kitchen sink. Like just stuff literally made to like rage bait people. That stuff makes me so angry. It's, it, apparently it's working. Oh yeah. It works, but it's just, it makes me angry because it's like, you're wasting food. Like, I just, I don't, and well, really anything. When you're like purposely breaking things and wrecking stuff for content, that kind of stuff just makes me mad. I don't like it. It's like, you don't, there's no need for any of this, right? Contribute something worthwhile to society. So yeah, just makes me mad. Grr. Anyway, that's my two cents on that. Okay. Um, 
They're probably on Instagram. She might be. I don't even know. I just, it just now, you know, as we're talking about it, like I remembered, you know, and it's like, oh, I haven't seen that person's content. And I don't remember her name for the life of me. But yeah, I just, it's a little forever living my head rent free. Everyone's so creative. <laughs> uh, yep. It's a really cute way of telling somebody not to quit their day job. <laughs> exactly. And I know that's what she's totally aiming for. And I yeah. love it. It's like, I love that. You were so good. Like such a burn without actually being a burn, you know? I was like, I, I could learn from that person. Cause I'm just the type that's like, you suck at that. <laughs> I would. I'm, that's why I don't comment very much online to anything. Like, if it makes me mad, I just walk away. I'm not going to be that person. Because I get that enough on my cards. You know, I make cards on the internet. And I get enough stupid comments from people being miserable. So I choose not to be like that to other people. But now I'm ranting about it. So, yeah. What else? But, yeah. Make cooking content. That's fine. You don't even have to be super good at it. I'm okay with that. But if it's like you're just making something that people are actually consuming, I'm fine. You know, barring some of the stuff where I'm like, you're going to all get salmonella or, you know, that kind of stuff. But I was like, if people are eating it, I don't care. But to like waste tons of food just to film a stupid TikTok and then you're throwing like, oh, uh, or oh, there was one, that woman, she was making it in one of those little kiddie pools on the beach she is a horrible creator what was she making oh i don't it was gross like pouring in like packaged like shrimp and like anything to make people want to vomit like tons of food you know that kind of stuff and it's like no one i think it was like nachos with like every gross thing known to man dumped on it in a pool a plastic pool which is not food safe on the beach Crap like that. Anyway, some of you might know exactly who I'm talking about. And I just, I choose not to consume that content. And I don't like when it shows up in my feed because I'm like, no, it makes me angry. So anyway, enough about that. Moving on. I glued all my layers together because as the queen, Laura Bassin, sings Dimension is Life. Because Laura Bassin makes beautiful rainbow cards she's also yeah i would call her the queen of rainbows because like almost all her cards are like rainbow themed and oh. and she's got clean and simple down to a science love love her stuff so stack those together and then we adhere them to the black outline just like so okay um Oh, yeah, I get mad at the ones that show rolling bottles down the stairs and watching stuff break. I think it was about, oh, yeah, those ones, too. Same thing. I just, those were popping up in my feed a lot. And it's, it just, I was like, that's a waste. It's a mess. There's no point. To, uh, uh, yeah. And yes, there's just tons of that type of content. Just, just wasteful and pointless. And it's just rage bait because like, they're trying to get engagement with making people mad. And there's a million different versions of it online. And I just, I try very hard to just completely avoid, like I scroll past, like immediately. Or if it's someone that I feel if they're like sharing that crap, it's like, I unfollow you. I'm not going to engage. I'm not going to give the views because that's the only way it'll ever stop is if people keep, if people stop engaging with it, but it's a uphill battle. Anyway, now we have to rescue the tittles. Huh. <laughs> you got me on that one. I know you weren't expecting it. You no. should have if you'd actually read the word. There's an I in it. Go flip them around so they're right side up. Get. Oh, there we go. Not bad. Okay. We're gonna gonna adhere. I'm still shaky. Oi. I love doing these lives with you guys. It's crazy sometimes when the nerves decide to start acting up and I'm like, Wee! honestly, a lot of my nerves and sweating though is because I'm worried I'm going to say something completely offensive. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Again, those that know me know that there's, there's a high likelihood of it. 
So yeah, my entire system goes into overdrive. Like, don't say it. Don't say it. Don't, don't do it. <laughs> anyway. Uh, sad thing they were targeting kids. Oh yeah, and that's well, I've made that very clear. Uh, my stance on children on the internet, aka they shouldn't be on the internet. And it should be heavily supervised, and there's a reason why there are age limits on like when to have social media accounts and all that kind of stuff. And there's there's reasons it rots people's brains especially children children are impressionable obviously keep them off the internet for as long as possible and i am well aware too that it is they're gonna get on there eventually but also educating kids which is what i do hardcore it's like the internet's full of lies <laughs> literally literally anyway oh i didn't even say Toothbrush. I've shown this in, in other videos. I keep, this is uh, an unused, it's never been in a mouth. <laughs> you want just this, you know, one of those little freebies. Uh, freebies that the dentist gives you. Ha! Ah, uh, you pay heavily for it. So really, most expensive tool probably in my craft stash. But yeah, just, just a nice little, you know, one that doesn't have the little rubber bits because like toothbrushes have that crap now, which annoys me. I don't like those things. But yeah, just a little toothbrush. And then I after the like everything's been adhered and the glue is like dried is I run that and that releases pretty much all the rest of the little you know paper hairs is you just give it a good brushing and it cleans it like right up because I can get into those those corners it's basically like brushing teeth <laughs> you know We'll just get right in there and then yeah there we go there we go um save the tittles yep 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 free the tittles um i missed yeah, TikTok's a hellscape. I've never downloaded it, honestly. Um, there we go. So, got that. Got our sentiment. There's a stamp set that coordinates. Um, I think in... How do I, do I want to do this? I had a plan on my head. Um, you're so... Um... Or I was going to do wishing. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're so fine. Yeah. That's going to work. I need to leave space. Because I just, I had it in my head, even though this one this is pretty big. But I really wanted to use it too. Is this, I've used it in another video. Um, you thought I was using a blending brush? Yeah, no. No, because blending brushes are too soft. Just just a good little toothbrush, you know? That's got soft tur bristles. I think this one was, it's like worn off. Because I've had this for years. I just keep it with my little tools. But I think it did say like super soft. But. You know, it's got toothbrush bristle. So, yeah, highly recommend. Just get yourself a little, a little toothbrush, just a little cheapy one. It's it's a great little tool. Anyway, back to that. Whirl Dragonfly. It's not too, too big, but I just, I wanted to stick it on here, you know? Because it's cute, and I like Dragonfly. And then I also pulled out, let me move this, Gold Vellum. I have used gold vellum for many, many years, and the stuff I originally used to use was discontinued years ago, and then Tonic came out with gold vellum. It looks like crap online. Tonic's picture of it, it looks like this, like, washed out yellow garbage on it. Like, the, the image online. This is all, this is why I do what I do, honestly. The way back in the day, why I even started a blog, like, almost 20 years ago, and then started doing YouTube, was because stuff looked like crap online. <laughs> And then I would order it and I'm like, oh dear, this looks nothing like I thought it did. You know, things like that. And I was like, well, I'm going to start showing people how stuff actually looks. And that's what started it. So anyway, gold vellum. It's not the yellow crap you see online. It's just pretty gold vellum. You know, it's so pretty. And I have a soft spot for like butterflies and dragonflies. 
having the wings die cut from vellum. Whether it's gold, lawn fawns, iridescent is also perfection. Um, or just regular vellum. Because especially ones like this, this is going to cut. It cuts all that little like piercing detail. And that naturally makes the vellum. You'll see. You'll see. It makes the vellum curl. It's cool. So we're going to we're gonna die cut this. So we're going to... That's why we need these lives. Yes. And that's part and that's also why I started doing lives. One, because I just wanted to, but two, it is nice to talk in real time, to show um in real time. I show in my videos, you know, but I try to edit those down, obviously, so that people because no one's gonna sit through. Heck, you guys are are an exception to the norm because people don't like sitting through my lives because I talk too much. Which whatever. That's fine. I'm fine with it. I'm not for everybody. Okay. So let's die cut this little dude. We're gonna have to run him through twice because the body is connected and that's fine. And yeah, the stuff is basically the same on both sides. Yeah, it is. It's totally the same on both sides. So it doesn't matter. There's no wrong side of this vellum. And then we're gonna die cut it. Okay. Um, I miss your haul videos. I understand why you don't do them though. Honestly, the only reason I stopped doing haul videos was main reason is I just don't have the time. Um, and it also because the second reason is it started like people started getting really upset with me because when I'm, I get sent a lot of product. You know, I, I'll, I'll sometimes will do release and reviews and walk through a release, that sort of thing. But stuff that I order a lot of the times is just stuff I like to collect. I don't necessarily have an intention of using it. You know, I'm just ordering for funsies or ordering like replenishing paper, things like that. And people were getting mad, literally mad, because I would show a haul video and then I wasn't immediately showing like me using the products. And it's like sometimes it will take me years. <laughs> to get around to actually using it it's like I bought it for funsies and then yeah there were some people that just took it to absolute extreme levels I had one person they're like I added up all your haul videos and you you wasted like forty thousand dollars it was and that was the amount because it stuck with me because I was like you're insane but like people literally freaking like and it was only a few and I don't really care what people think but it was getting into like crazy accusations of like, I can't believe you neglect your children for crafts. Like, L what I'm doing is what feeds my kids. Oh, people. Like, so just people are miserable. Anyway, I just, I was like, fine, I'll just stop doing them. I have other things I can do. <laughs> like, yeah. Who knows? I may eventually start doing them again. We'll see. No promises. But okay, back to the, back to the, the, the fun part. This is what I mean. See how it just naturally curled because of all of the, let me, here we go. Because of specifically how this wafer die pierces all that detail because this is vellum, it just makes it curl. You know, I don't, I'm not doing anything, but you could also, if you're using a wafer die, cause it doesn't have to be this one and say the wings are solid. The vellum will still curl a bit, just any vellum will, because it's just the nature of vellum. But you could also just curl it yourself. You know, if the dye doesn't do that and you want little wings or little elements curled up, vellum is very, very malleable. You know, it's it's gonna, you can do pretty much whatever you want with it. So, alrighty. Um... Yeah, sorry guys, I wasn't even really paying attention. <laughs> oh, also, can you go get me some ibuprofen? That headache is like starting to come back. I woke up with a headache and and it's it's making an appearance again. Mm. Yes, and that's why I used to do the haul videos. Was it was the same idea? It was like, oh, like look at this. Look at this in, in as close to real life as you can get. Because obviously, again, everything's online now. There's very few brick and mortar stores because just the whole of society has crumbled. <laughs> um, but it's like, oh, you know, you see something online. And it's like, 
okay. And then I get it and it's like, okay, this is, this is the size of it, you know? And that's, that's what I enjoyed with the hauls. It's like, look at this and, and look at it on an A2, you know, four and a quarter by five and a half. It's like to give you an idea of the size. Cause there's some products that it's like, oh, that thing is huge. Or, oh, that's, that's itty bitty tiny. That, that was a big one too. I would order like a little die set and it would show up and the, like the little images were just teeny tiny, you know? But yeah, we'll see where things go. Um, uh, so yeah, we'll, it looks Harry Potter. Yeah, it kind of does. Well, if you guys want me to bring back the hauls, like, I technically could bring back, like, I've never stopped ordering. You know? We'll see. We'll see. Um, it could also be possibly fun to do them as lives. I make, I mean, I'm making no promises. Because that just adds to my workload. <laughs> Regardless. Either way I do it, it adds to the workload. But, uh, we'll see. We'll see. Let's see. So many ideas. Not enough time. Let's go. Let's get back to our little, our little dragonfly dude. So to assemble him, you can kind of do whatever you want, honestly. But I find with dragonflies for their wings, I just layer them together. Just, just hold them. Like so. Yeah. Happy with that. Yeah. I'm going to move that down just a little bit. And then I stick a little bit of glue right in the middle. And then my little body that I die cut from black cardstock. Kind of stick it right there. Huh? You had a flicker on I didn't do nothing. Okay. If something flickered, it wasn't me. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> uh, as long as things just keep working, please. And thank you. Ooh, now it's sticking to my fingers because I got glue on me. And I didn't stick enough glue on this little guy. So I'm just going to stick a little bit more on the back. So I can glue the, the under wings. I don't know what you call them on a dragonfly. Just wings. I love dragonflies. That's one thing I'm really looking forward to when the dragonflies start coming out. That's later summer here. Yeah, mm -hmm. later in the summer. Usually end of July you start seeing a lot of them. Yeah, and some we get big ones around here. Not very many of them, but like the great big ones. And I love every, usually once a summer, there'll be one hanging around and it'll let me pick it up. And I, it'll like cling onto my hand and then I can like show the kids and stuff. And it's just like, I just want to keep it. But I always go and put it in my plants, you know, give it a little... Give it a little privacy so it can do its thing and yeah. I love it. Love it. So yeah, and it's all curled and I didn't do nothing. How fun is that? So yeah. Well, thank you, Lav Lavina. Hopefully I pronounced your name right. Um, I have no plans on stopping. I would like anyone to try and make me. <laughs> If, that's another thing people have, you know are starting to get to know especially now that i've been doing lives for longer like my stubborn personality oh very stubborn unbelievably stubborn sometimes detrimentally so but that's just life so there's my isn't he cute i like him uh do they make light blue pearl vellum no you with vellum you can Add, add color to it I and I've shown it in videos in the past um alcohol markers are the best in my opinion you can add like dye inks to vellum but it is messy it, it it's it's just I don't bother you know um because again vellum is just it's a very different sort of little substrate so if I wanted to make these a different color like if I didn't use gold if I use regular vellum or like lawn fawn pearlescent vellum on the back of them, I would use just a, a Copic marker, an alcohol marker. In fact, here, you know, I'll, I'll show it. I'll show it. We got time. We're live. Whatever. Give me a sec. Let me just take a regular piece. Here's a regular piece of vellum. 
and a Copic marker. Let's use the thing to remember with vellum is again, this is not white cardstock. Things are going to um, look different. So if I was going to do this, I would use the rare times I actually use a chisel tip. Just because it's fine. You can use a brush tip. It doesn't matter. Um, let's just let's do it like this. And then you can just color it. This gives me a visual. There we go. That's it. That's all you gotta do. And then you gotta let it dry, which takes a little bit on vellum. But you can see, see that's, this is the back. And that's front. So, and you can do that with any vellum. Like I could have done it with the gold too. It just would have looked weird because of the gold tint. And then you can die cut it. So you do that. And then let's, let's stick that on there. And yeah, and a lot, and it will show your, your marker marks, but I don't think that's gonna, especially with a die like this. Let's just see what happens. Why not? We're live. Let's experiment. Yeah, dry. Line that up. Stick that on there. Boop. And then run it through. Okay. There we go. Oh, it did flicker. Probably because of my, oh, whatever. Flickering I can handle as long as everything just keeps working. So there we go, we got color. Yeah, I got, I gotta clean off those die cut plates, but there, now the wings are a different color and they're also curled, you know? So that's what you can do. It's fun. So fun. That's just, and oh, I, oh, I have that linked already. Ha! This is Simon to Stamps Vellum, because I do get asked that a lot. Because Vellum can get finicky between um, just different weights, different things. But I did link to this, because this is what I've been using for a decade. Probably longer than a decade. I forget when the first time I ordered Simon's Vellum. And I was like, oh, found it. This is the stuff I like. It's not too thin. And it's not super thick either, because really thick heavyweight vellum, it's good for some uses, but a lot of times it'll crack because it's too thick. And then really thin vellum is very wispy. Like, I have some vellum that's thinner than this. This has got a decent weight. I like it. So, yeah. All right. Okay. So, that is definitely a way to do it. And then because my plate was so filthy it's like picked up all the schmutz from it but i'm not using that today anyway i am using this little dude so do i want to trim this down I was, yeah i do because that's what i do why am i even asking that anyway habit i had someone ask that the other day they're like why don't you just start with the size you like the finished size that you want and i'm like because <laughs> I didn't even really have a good answer. I was like, because I don't really know when I start. I just, I start with an A2 panel and then 99% of the time I do cut it down. It just depends on my mood. But I'm only going to take like an eighth of an inch off each side because I don't want to trim this down too much because I don't want to lose the colors. But it always gives it that little extra something. So if I take an eighth off, that leaves me with four inches by five and a quarter, which is just slightly smaller than, um, what, who, what now? Huh? All right. <clears throat> I missed something oh. and someone was answering it. Yeah. They were, they were oh. just wondering what press you were using. Oh, my die cut machine. Yeah. I think the, the unpaid intern, yes, he linked to it. And yes, Anita is right. I am in Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. Which, for some reason, well, I shouldn't say for some reason. People have a very hard time pronouncing it, and I'm just like, why? But I was born here. Well, actually, no, I wasn't. 
I am not a native Saskatchewan person. I was born in another province, but uh, I've lived here all my life. So it's just Saskatchewan. Anyway, anyway. Okay. So we got that. Oh my God, a little guy, or do I want it up here? Oh, maybe I want to do that. Yeah, we'll put it up there. And then, I was gonna do, yeah, you're so splendid. And then the inside we could add a sentiment. So this is where I pull out the Misty because stamping on a finished background is always a little nerve wracking. However, if I mess it up, I'll just stamp it onto a different piece of paper and glue it on top. Cause yeah, is that gonna fit right in there? Let me see, I'll go figure out my head. Actually no, my head won't get in the way. Uh, I gotta figure out where I wanna put the sentiment. Stick it like right there, it just kind of fits. Gotta make sure I get it straight. There we go. Yeah, gotta make sure it's straight. And then brand new stamps, because I haven't used this stamp before. Brand new, in fact, I might be able to. Brand new stamps, high quality photopolymer. See how shiny they are? They're very shiny. And to get better ink coverage when they're brand brand new is like rubbing, just rubbing your fingers on it. You see me do that in videos. I've talked about it in other lives and stuff. But doing that, so I only did it on this part, but you can see how this is still shiny and this isn't. It helps it take the ink better. And so it stamps better. The more you use your photopolymer stamps, the better they stamp. So when they're brand new, a little bit of conditioning makes them work better. And then I'm just gonna stamp this with some black ink. Give it a little tappy tap. Do that. Yep, that works. The almond M&Ms. That's what, we, well, I guess you were the last one to go to Costco. I, yeah. I, the unpaid intern ate all his peanut M&Ms. I gotta buy him more. <laughs> it's also why it works so much. I gotta keep him fed with his snicks. <laughs> Just the peanut M&Ms. Yeah. Gotta get them peanut M&Ms. The thousands that we spend each month. Oh yes, thousands. It's the only thing he eats. <laughs> like an elephant. Uh, it would be awful. Okay. You're so splendid. Wishing you... Let's do it on the inside. It's like somewhat... A teeny bit redundant using kind of the same sentiment on the inside. But I just kind of like the... I love buildable... Buildable sentiments. So I'll put wishing you a splendid day. Yeah, so we'll just line that up, and then I'm just thinking. Oh. Do I want to do that though? I can't. No. Yeah. No. Do I want to do the sentiment rainbow? Why not? Why not? It's my channel. I can do what I want. I didn't link to these. You'll have to add a link. Um, look up pouncers and then link to the pint size ones. We'll need a yellow one and an orange one and a pink one and a blue one and a green one and a purple one. Completely insane, but I don't care. I do what I want. I do what I want. So, my little, my little baby paper pouncers from Pig a Fence Studios that I love. They're super cute. I've shown them in a ton of videos. I haven't used them in a hot minute, but I have many, many, many videos using these. So let's put them in my pink, orange, yellow, green, 
blue. Purple. Okay. So, I'm going to pull these out because I'm going to use them to ink up my stamp. And, as always, I'm going to start with yellow because I don't like my yellow tools getting fully um, covered in all the things. Did you find them? Yep. Yep. Okay. So, we're going to use the super saturated dandelion. Pink, orange, yellow. And I'm going to... I mean hard to show on camera when my desk is now full of stuff. There we go. So I'm just inking up the stamp with the pouncer. So and I can do all of this technically in one step. Okay. So then I'll go in with orange. And of course I got schmutz on it. Fix that. Because especially, like to try, I've shown this in the past, like to try and do this with ink pads, and I'll use the like edge of the ink pad, and you have to hold it on an angle, and I'm fine with doing that, but using these is so much faster and easier, and it just looks better because the sponge like makes it blend itself. So let me get my, I've got like, how much stuff? I need a bigger, I need a bigger boat. Sorry, the SS Minnow is all we got. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. So then we do the pink. And put that back in its little lid. So pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, uh, green. Um, what size would I recommend? Oh dear. Oh dear. Um Honestly, if you didn't have either, I'm just, I'm just trying to think of like all the cases where I'm like using things. And if I was only, I'm always the worst to ask because I have all the things within reason. I don't want to, there are so many things I want. Um, I'm just trying to think. I would probably, I would probably get the pint size, you know, because they're not tiny, tiny, you know, if they were like half this size, I'd be like, I'll get the regular size. You'll get more use out of them. But these are still, you can still do, like, if I was to do a whole, like, through a stencil, like, a whole background with these, that'd be fine. I'd be fine with that. So, yeah, I would say go with the pint size, you know? And then if you find that you absolutely love them, you know, and you're always using them, and you just, and you're, whatever you're working on, it's like, man, I mean, nice, I had a bigger set. Then you could go and get, like, the bigger, the, the regular size set. Because, yeah, they're great little tools. I, I like them. I like them a lot. Okay, so I'm going to blue. Kind of doing it on an angle here. The inside of this card is going to be very busy. I'm, I don't care. It was fun. Okay, purple. Purple. Okay. Oh, that's fun. Yes. See? That's awesome. Ah, <laughs> uh, love it. Rainbow all the things, people. Okay, let's put the lids back on all these guys. Because again, the less I have to clean up after the live, the better. Because as it is, I have like completely run out of space. Oh, perfection. I'm nervous the ink is going to dry out before you stamp it. Nah. Nah. You have a decent amount of time. Like, maybe if you're in a really arid climate, maybe. Um, If I was doing, like, a big stamp, like, say it was, like, it was a big, big stamp, um, and, I, and I wanted to do all of it at once, because that's also the nice thing about stamp positioner, is I could have done just one color at a time, you know, and just stamped it, next color, stamped it, you know? Um, so that's a way. Uh, but another thing, and I've shown this too, is just lightly misting it with water. You won't get as crisp of an impression if you add water, but a lot of times it makes it look really cool too, because then it gets an almost like faux watercolor look. I've shown that in videos too. It's fun. But yeah, you're generally, or the old uh, huffing technique, which sounds insane, but I, you know, Chris, has, I don't think I he's ever, uh, I know, I don't think he's ever seen me do this, but we used to do this back in the day. Where you would ink up your stamp and then you'd. It's like 
blowing into a Nintendo cartridge. Yeah, kind of. But like you would huff on it. You're not inhaling or snorting anything. I do not endorse that. But yeah, you just, you know, and stamp. Back in the day. Why did we do that back then? I don't know why I'm asking him that. He wouldn't even know. He didn't know me back then. But yeah, we used to do that a lot. Probably was completely pointless and just a dumb technique we all did, but served no purpose. But yeah, you could do that too. You know, so you just like have to hold your whole misty now because, you know, we had, st there were wooden block stamps that you'd do that with. Nowadays, you just hold your misty and just... <laughs> no, I still need my misty. I'm getting like sidetracked with all the things. Ah. Uh... Yep. Huffing on your stamps, not huffing liquids or, or chemicals. I'm not encouraging or endorsing that in every way, in any way, you know? Like, please behave responsibly when you're making your cards. Or, you know, don't do dumb things thinking that I told you to do it, because I didn't. Huff responsibly. Yeah. Huff responsibly, people. Uh, okay. Let get in your home making you a splendid day yep okay i wonder if older inks used to dry faster kind of i think just the old style of ink pads just again they were the you know a lot of them they were the felt because we didn't even have the foam ink pads back then at least not in that sense and the little techniques we used to do things like that yeah yeah, you didn't get as much ink onto your stamps as you do now. Because, just yeah, things have changed. But that's an old, you know, a lot of you remember that. That's a blast from the past technique. So. I've never seen this before. Yeah, I, I have not. I I have not done it. I can't. I honestly can't even remember the last time I've done it. It's been probably a decade, <laughs> if not longer. Oh, my goodness. That's funny. Yep. And there we go. Uh, well, I'm glad you don't have to make up. That's what it was. We used Marvy Marcus to color red rubber, and with all the opening and closing, they dried a bit. That's, that's what the technique was. Thank you, Zahn. That's what it was. You'd color on this stamp. And it was, they were red rubber stamps on wood mounts and you'd color on it with mar water-based markers. And by the time you got to the end, like the first bits of the markers were dried out. And with those stamps, unless you had a little stamp position, you know, the stamp on the jig, most, the ink wasn't like moist, but, and you only got one shot. So then you would huff on it to re-moisten the ink and then you'd stamp it down. That's what it was. That was the, that was why we used to do that. There was, there was a method to the madness. And now there was this magical invention called a spray bottle. And you just spray a little water. You don't need to like, all <laughs> whatever. <laughs> uh, that just reminds, I have that stamp sitting. It's by Inkblot Shop. And it's to stamp on your envelopes. And it's like, I licked this with my own spit. And I was like, <clears throat> I bought it. It's in my stash somewhere. Anyway, that's just this conversation reminded me of that. <laughs> and then we had stamps during the the dark times during covid and it was like i didn't lick this or whatever <laughs> oh the things we got anyway life is weird man life is weird so there was the card and oh and yeah someone i saw that was a little while ago but i just i got distracted by huffing good lord um create simon says create is next month no no one is heavily talking about it because everything is sold out so we're not promoting it in that sense because who oh boy did it sell out fast i will be there i'm uh, it's next month it's may 9th to 11th something like that and yeah i'm gonna be there and my my bud christy's in the chat she's planning on being there my bud ricky romero cards is gonna be there Oh, so many makers are, are going and it's going to be a load of fun. Loads. Of fun. Days, eh? Is that what it is? It's in a month. Woo. Yeah. Hopefully my passport shows up in time. <laughs> it's supposed to. 
but I've been feeling a little stressed because I was like, um, I kind of need this to leave the country. Okay. Okay. So we're going to put, and I didn't have that in its base properly. Um, I have a stamp that says my cat licked this envelope. Love it. And they probably did. <laughs> a nod on it too. You know, that's, that's what cats do. And dogs. They like to chew all the things. So yeah. Yeah. All right. Just gonna adhere. Adhere this. Just like so. Yeah. Try opening the plastic bags in the produce department without licking your fingers. Oh. Oh, the unpaid intern can identify with that. That oh. is his nemesis. Yes. Literally, the amount I have lost count of the amount of times I have to rescue him, and he's just like he cannot open those bags like one out of a hundred tries, and he'll get it. But <laughs> no matter what he he cannot get those bags open. It's so funny. He even taught me like the you know. Yes, it together to try but it his, he day. has drier skin than me. I'm the one with like the oily skin. So it's like, I just like grab it from him and I'm like, oh. you know, I open it. No problem. He can't get those bags open to save his life. It's so funny. Like, I don't know why. It just amuses me watching him struggle <laughs> with his little bag. <laughs> I can't order from a drive thru either. Yeah, you can't order from drive thrus You did great lot yesterday. I know I did. That was the first time ever that your brain didn't completely break. The minute we pull up to a drive through window and Chris is like, derp, or burpy derp. It's not my brain, brain. It's my mouth that can't keep up. Kind of. But yeah. It's like, I want, no, it's like that kid trying to tell a story, that meme, that yeah. little video when he's like, yeah, and then we, you. have you, yeah, have you ever had a dream where then it, yeah, huh? That's Chris in a drive through 99% of the time it's great we have it all planned out I tell him exactly in order like what needs to be and then he gets to the win like to the microphone and he just goes dirt bear. he's like have you ever had a drink where yeah <laughs> and I'm just sitting there like ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> that's a reason why you're on camera and I'm not <laughs> This is why I sweat. I'm, I'm, I sweat when I'm on camera because one, I th I think that I'm gonna do that. Like, uh, but I'm also terrified that I'm going to drop like the most offensive comment. You know, because that's where my brain goes. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> but yes, we got fast food yesterday, and I, I'm st I'm still in shock. We got up to the order, and he just like nailed it. Yeah. Like it was perfection, and that you know. And I just, I'm, I'm regretting it because that food did not agree with me. It was awful. It was awful. Anyway. Was what it was. Okay. Added just a little bit of glue to the back of my little dragonfly. Just to the body. Because the wings, one, vellum, glue shows through vellum. And two, I want them popped up because, hello, it's fabulous. Here we go. So just... Trying to make sure they're not hanging over too far because even though they're curled up, I don't want it to not be able to go in a standard size envelope. So yeah. Just voice record it for him and have him hold it to the microphone. <laughs> Almost. Although a lot of times I place, I do orders. I'll do them online because like everyone's got freaking apps now. So a lot of times I'll just do that. And, then, and like place it and then all he has to do is show up and even then though he's like he's like texting me in the drug he's like what were the con you know the confirmation numbers or whatever because he's completely like spaced so yeah no i find little ways to help it's just he is a very very smart dude but drive throughs break his brain so it is what it is i'm too in the clouds i'm sorry yeah so yeah his nemesis drive throughs and then produce bags <laughs> Uh, okay, so we got our little, oh, look at that. I just, 
how it's all curled up. Okay. Uh, okay, so it's Big Mama foam tape, which yes, is getting very close, very close to being used up. Again, considering how much how much content I put out, how many cards I make, how much I use this stuff, a roll of Big Mama foam tape lasts a very long time. So basically for us to see in real time how much you use it. Kind of. I, someone made that comment on, I think it was one of my recent lives, and they were like, I remember when you got that. And I was like, good for you. I don't remember. <laughs> I was like, I bet. It hasn't been that long, actually. No, it's been a while. I have a backup that I purchased. I don't remember when I purchased this one. It's it it's been yeah, I don't remember. Like I would have to like timestamp or something like when or write on the inside of the roll when I start a new roll cuz I don't remember. I I got enough stuff to remember. I can't remember things like that. And I'm not about to go back through my videos to find the one cuz same thing. I post so many videos that psh, I don't remember. So, I can find a lot of stuff, but things like this that just aren't important enough to me. All I know is the rolls last a really, really, really long time. And I love it, because it's not super thick. Depends on my mood. I could have used... I could have used, like, Altenew, because people are kind of like, this is about this... And I have it. I have it. What am I doing? No, wait. I lied. Is that tiny? No, that's not. It's over there. Anyway, a new roll of mm, a Big Mama foam tape is about the size. This is Altenews foam tape. But Altenews foam tape is what I call standard thickness. So if you want like a good, and I forgot to link to this. Are you grabbing the foam tape? Yeah. Okay, you can grab it. It's the one right behind the black. I think it is. Oh, it might not be. I have so many rolls of foam tape. Yep. Okay. This is a brand... <laughs> <laughs> this is a brand new roll of Big Mama foam tape. That's actually, even, although I've used a bit of this one. This is the Altenews foam tape. So they're roughly the same size. But yeah, like, takes up that whole camera. It's bigger than my head. So that's, that's Simon's. That's why they call it Big Mama, because the roll is enormous. Another one of those things where you see it online, you order it, it shows up, and you're like, what in the ever-loving heck is this? Where am I going to put this, you know? Anyway, anyway, link to the Altenew foam tape. So tons of people were asking me about this stuff. So I got a roll of it and I love it when I want standard thickness. Um, Cause Simon's Big Mama is about one, is it one sixteenth or one thirty second of an inch? I forget the thickness. It, it's probably on the listing. It's thin. Like you can see, like it is thin. This is standard thickness. So Simon's is about half as thick. So the only reason I just depends on my mood. That's it. So this stuff though, hands down for standard foam tape. This is what I love. Um, Cause back in the day about all we used was like that 3M scotch tape. A roll of that stuff now is pushing, I think $70 US. It is insanely expensive. It does get brittle and yellow. I don't like that stuff at all. It used to be the go-to, you know, the goat. Um, and I stopped using that stuff years ago because it got way too expensive. And yeah, it gets it gets brittle quickly. You know, this stuff has been great. I love it. The price is great. You get a ton. And also their packaging is pretty. I like their, it's just like, isn't there release paper? It's just fabulous. Actually, yeah, I have a whole new, <laughs> I have a whole, this is the packaging it comes in. So this comes like this. Yeah, like it's all just like. It just comes as a gift, you know? I love their packaging. It just gets me. So I have enough foam tape to last me forever. Anyway. All for different things. Multiple thicknesses for different things. So hopefully that helps with all the things. Anyway. Um, yeah, the scotch gets... So yeah, it gets yellow and brittle. Like brittle. Because it starts like drying out and it just... And it's expensive. Like crazy expensive. Not a fan. At all. Um, but yeah, those are my two, um, I found some old 3M tape and it wouldn't even stick anywhere. Yeah, it, it completely dries out. And that's what happened to me, even though I use my stuff 
very consistently. And I was like, okay, I'm done. I'm not going to buy that anymore. And then I had a ton of you asking me about the Altenew foam tape. And I got my hands on it late last year. And I was like, oh, and just the packaging alone. I was like, oh, I'm sold. It's beautiful. <laughs> okay. Uh, there we go. So yeah, Simon's, it just gives a little, you know, just a little bit of lift. If you want standard, you know, the Altenew is, is a good one. But Altenew isn't super thick either. I do have some foam tape in my stash somewhere that is like thick. Yeah, and I forget even the brand off the top of my head, but it is crazy thick. So anyway, we got that. We're almost, we're almost done. Woo. Um, my problem is keeping dog and cat hair off the edges. Yeah, mine is just my own hair. I always find it like stuck to everything all the time. I'm always just like, it is what it is. Okay gonna add speaking of there's there's some of my hair it's fabulous gonna add a few little uh oldie but goodie these are just the simon stay gold sequins gonna just stick a few of these onto here oops let's mix that up go back the way you're supposed to go there we go and then we'll Take a couple. Yep, that works. Full settle. Don't need to go overboard. Okay. Okay, let's adhere these little dudes into place. And while I'm doing this, the unpaid intern can pick a winner. Can I? Yes, you can. All right. <laughs> Oh, we're such a maze. Okay, stick that into place. Give everyone like 45 more seconds. Okay. And then... <clears throat> that into place. Pour these guys back into their little containers so I don't knock it over. Because that's always a given. Put my foam tape away. Nope. Okay. Ugh. There we go. Okay. Come on, pet put away. Um, in quilting and knitting, it's considered a good luck charm for the recipient if your hair accidentally gets incorporated accidentally in the project. That's cute. That is really cute. That's really cute. Uh, I haven't done any of my crochet. I have multiple, of course. Who doesn't? Multiple unfinished projects. I haven't touched that stuff in years. I keep meaning to pull it out again, but... And then I'm like, when am I going to have time? <laughs> Which, yeah, it's been many years. I haven't finished the youngest baby blanket. He's turning nine soon. <laughs> he may get it as a graduation present at this point. Like, no, whatever. <laughs> it's, a graduation, it's a graduation blanket. Mommy loves her baby! Uh, anyway... <laughs> It's what it is. But yeah, all I had to say, that's the finished. Amy has sent me good luck a couple times over the years. I probably have. I wouldn't be surprised if someone could jam my hair. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, there is the finished card. We have a winner. And it's got shimmery and splattery, <clears throat> and I like the. I do like those pearly vellum wings and then our rainbow sentiment love it love it so yeah knowing you okay who's our just wait let me let me switch back to me hello hi how's it going let me here i can drag this up over here like that oh. sometimes things work sometimes sometimes anyway okay yeah okay who's our who's our winner our winner today is maria schultz from illinois that name's familiar maria schultz in illinois so thank you i will be mailing this as well as the last live which was two weeks ago 
I will mail those cards out. <laughs> those will be mailed out this week. Because, yeah, I'm hoping that the absolute chaos and just pure insanity I have dealt with the last month and then the last couple weeks especially is uh, behind me. So, and like I said, I have to, I, I literally have to leave my house multiple times this week. So, I will be going to the post office and mailing this off. So, yeah, yeah, my hair's a mess and I'm, oh. I was sweating, man. I was I was sweating today. Okay. Oh, and I'm knocking more things over. I'm doing great. Everything's great. Oh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, we did good. Yeah. The cameras they stayed, stayed on. on. <clears throat> Other than that occasional flickering, but that it happened every time you use the Empress. Was that when it happened? Yeah. It's the power thing. So we have a potential fix for that as well. That was meant for the other things, but also tied in. It's just, it's a, like, power bank thing that, uh, I'll get around to it. I'm just scared to implement that, because that means unplugging everything. Yes. And I don't want to do that. Because once you start messing with the cord, you guys have no idea. The amount of cords, even Chris is just like. I'm good at this stuff, and I can't keep track. Yeah, yeah. No, I keep track. I I have zip ties and cords, and I know where you know everything goes. And just the thought of unplugging everything freaks me out. So that'll be the next project. Because yes, if the lives keep up, and we fix the cameras, and you know that that issue, that'll be the next step is to fix the power issue that's interfering with and causing the flickering. But at least it doesn't shut everything off. So we're we're good. It is what it is. It is what it is. Um. Oh. Oh, you're talking about create. What booth are you going to be in? Or are you just going to be walking around? Oh, yeah. I am just going to be ram, just random, popping up in random places, hiding under the tables. Most likely hiding in my, my hotel room at times. Um, for those that aren't aware, because <laughs> I don't really like attend events. Create last year was the first time I went anywhere. Um, and even though I'm on camera doing other things, I am severely introverted. Like I have very hardcore, like social anxiety and doing things like this. I'm fine. And meeting people, like I'm fine, but it just, it drains me. And I just, I'll need to go back to my room to cry multiple times. Cause it's just, I'm overwhelmed and it's like, it's amazing and it's wonderful and it's so much fun, but who oh boy, it's. Sometimes. And I put my foot in my mouth so bad. Like last year I was in one of the booths. I just started volunteering and helping out because um, it was chaos. And I was so not professional because it was just chaos. And yeah, I, I put my foot in my mouth many times and said things I probably shouldn't have. Happens. It happens. I'm not a professional. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was fun though. It was lots of fun. It'll be fun this year too. I'm excited and looking forward to it. And I'm also just dreading. Because I have to do the whole, like, international travel by myself this year. Last year, my friend Mari was was my <laughs> my babysitter, <laughs> literally. I just followed her like a little lost puppy dog through the airports. Like, she told me where to go. She's like, this is where we go. This is what you do. This is what you need. And I loved it. It was, I needed that. And this year, I'm like, I'm not going to have my Mari. <laughs> what am I going to do? I'm going to end up, like, in the wrong country or something. Or arrested. Who knows? It's going to be bad. I'm just... You end up in a Home Alone situation. All you got to do is get some paint cans and some little army dudes. And some... Just Macaulay Culkin yeah, it. I'm just going to take fine. over some abandoned brownstone in New York and set up shop. Yeah, totes. It's like, this is my life now. Well, I'll, more, I'd end up the pigeon lady in Central Park. It would be bad. It wouldn't be good. So, we'll see. It's I'm, I am planning on attending. If I don't show up, that's because I, yeah, I'm lost in, like, New York or something. <laughs> It totally could happen. I'm, I'm, yeah, because I have to change in Toronto International Airport, and it, that is a big airport. Yes, it is. And I wasn't paying attention when I was there with Mar. If I had been paying enough attention, but I was terrified and I'm sweating, and I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. Wow. So I just followed her. I wasn't looking at the signs. So you could always flag down one of those. I, I will be. Cars. I will be overcoming my social anxiety and flagging down people because all the the people I encountered that like work at the airport last year, um, they were wonderful. Yeah, they were all so nice because I was just like Mari's just like a, a seasoned traveler, and I'm like I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> they were awesome. So yeah, I'll I'll figure it out. 
yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm professional. I did bump it out of frame because I talk with my hands. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's going to be um, it's going to be nuts. There's the unpaid intern made his made his little appearance, um, but in a good way literally like I wouldn't do it again like I wouldn't be attending again if um for me in the end it was worth it you know I got to meet some awesome people I finally got to meet so many people in real life like people I'm friends with people I've worked with for years some of them like over a decade you know so for me it was worth it um yeah I don't mind the airport the flying in a plane I don't mind the flying I don't like it because it's ugh so uncomfortable especially the tin can you fly in from toronto to columbus it's a it's like a tin can it's oh. you know there's only like two rows of seat like two seats the aisle two seats you don't there's not even overhead luggage like it is a tin can with wings that flight is not fun but it's a short flight thankfully it's like an hour hour and a half something like that it's not very long um but yeah it's not very fun <laughs> Uh, if you get lost in New York, I have your back. No worries. Yeah, I know. It'd be fun. I want to go to New York. It's on my list of like places I want to go. But yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting. Just that's the only thing I have real anxiety about is the actual travel. Cause yeah, I'm going to be doing it by myself. And yeah, again, like I've said, I, my biggest fear is always, you know, putting my foot in my mouth which I always do. And I'm always scared that I'm going to put my foot in my mouth with like the TSA or those sorts of things. And that, you know, they're going to put me in jail or something. Cause you know, it's impulse control, man. It's just not my strong suit, <laughs> but yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. We'll, we'll see. Everyone will get updated on my little, my little adventures when, uh, when I go and then we'll just see, We'll just see what happens, you know. Okay, pink, orange, yellow. I'm putting everything in rainbow order, even though I'm going to knock it all over. Um, it's called a puddle. Oh, yeah, it is a puddle jumper. That little plane, it is a full-on just little puddle jumper plane. And it just, yeah. I, I And I've told this story before because I, I never traveled. Last year was the first time I was on a plane in a very, very long time. But uh, last year, I purposely, like, I got the emergency exit row because, you know, you have more leg room and stuff because I'm tall I'm not tall tall but mm, taller and I was like mm, I would like the extra space so I did that and <laughs> my seatmate on that first flight like when he got on the plane I'm not even the guy probably was a football player like he was built like a linebacker he was huge like I'm not even kidding like probably close if not seven feet tall like just and he comes up to my eye and just the look of apology he gave me and I was just like I was like this <laughs> on that flight I just we were crammed in like sardines it was insane it was funny it was so funny so yeah it's it's just it's a crazy experience but yeah it'll be it'll be it'll be good there we go there we go um and we'll just I always put my foot in my mouth when I'm nervous yeah and I do that really bad like really bad it's so not good like word vomit you know not not fun but I'm making myself do it I don't have to, you know, but I'm, I'll, I'm going to give it another go. And, and, you know, I'm, I'm an adult. I can do hard things. <laughs> uh, it'll be like, where's Waldo? If you get lost, go live so we can do a where's Amy and rescue you. I know, right? <laughs> I'll go live on my little like Facebook pages. I'll be like, I don't know where I am. Oh, it'll be. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that nearly happened to me. I had a broken shoulder. Ooh, and the TSA got up all in my face in 2004 because I was crying in the airport when I said I couldn't put my hands up for the search. They were jerks. Oh, yeah. See, it's things like that. Like, I literally going through, like, the security, like, all of that. Like, once you're through, it's kind of fine. And getting on the plane, fine. Flying, fine. It's those steps, basically, really. It's, like, getting in there, finding where you need to go, and then the whole like process of going through security, I just, I hate it so much. 
and then having to talk like when you're doing international, you know, and having to explain why you're here, you know, what your plans are. I'm always scared I'm going to say something stupid and they'll be like, denied. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it's just crazy. Um, I'll drive you to Target. Oh, we're going to Target. I already got my buddy Joe and his husband Trevor. Joe and Trevor are coming. And me, we met last year. I talked about Joe. Um, what video was it? It was the Daisy video I posted last week. Because I have, because for those, because I don't have it, like, in front of me. Um, actually, no, I do have it in front of me. I can show you guys. Joe, his Instagram, he makes absolutely amazing cards. So I will, there you go. I will show you guys. VJS Joey. That is his username. Highly recommend following him. He doesn't have a YouTube um, account. He's just on Instagram. And beautiful cards. Just beautiful cards. Anyway, met him for the first time at Create. And me and his hubby Trevor, like, totally bonded over our love of Target. <laughs> I don't even, we talked forever about Target and how amazing it is. So we've made plans. We're like, we're going to go on a Target run. Because apparently there's like a bunch of them in Columbus anyway. So we're going to, we're going to raise some chaos, I think, in the Target aisles. That's, that's the plan. So I'm that I'm very much looking forward to. <laughs> he does watercoloring. He does all kinds of things. He does some little reels on Instagram. Not always. Most of it is just pictures, but sometimes he will post little videos like showing his process. And yeah, like watercoloring. He'll use like oil pastels and like do mixed media, all the things. Like beautiful cards. Highly recommend. Follow him. So much inspiration. Love it. Um and yeah, just a really um really good person. I like I'm so that's like I'm so excited about create to like connect again with the people I met last year and meet new people because that's the thing for anyone that might be watching this that this is going to be your first time going or any like specifically card making event if there's you know one in your area whatever it's the most fun because you're just you're in a place with a ton of people that share the exact same interest as you and especially in card making we're such a um niche you know, because like there's so many different types of crafting out there. Tons, tons and tons and tons of types of crafting. And card making, we're, you know, we have our own little corner. And so many people, when you try to explain like, what is it? Like, what do you do? And it's like, I make cards. And they're like, what? You know, they don't get it. So when you're in a space with a bunch of people that do the exact same thing as you and they get it, they get like how exciting it is. They're just like, oh my God, pouncers, you know, like we get it. It's so fun. It is so much fun, really. Like, yeah, it's it's fun. So, uh, do you take an extra suitcase to pack your haul? I am this year. <laughs> I didn't last year. And the stuff I bought, it was the stuff I bought at Target more than anything. Because that's part of it at Create, um, Simon Says Stamp. Because it's, and this, yeah. People always ask, like, why can't Simon do this in, like, Europe and everything else? And it's like, no, they only do it in Columbus because they host it right down the road from their warehouse. Because that's the only way this is going to work. Because events like this are an insane amount of time, energy, labor. Like, for Simon Says Stamp, I know it takes them a, a minimum of a year. Like, I'm still amazed they're doing one this year after just doing one just a year ago. Because it takes, like, a year plus. So, obviously, they were pumping through extra work to get this done. Um, to prep for all of this. And then they bring tons of product from the warehouse. And they set it up at the convention center that we're in. And people can shop on site. And a lot of people are like, oh, you must be, like, buying a bunch of crafty stuff. And I'm like, not really. I already have a ton of it. <laughs> It's so fun though. I still go through everything because they have card samples and like all different products. So it's all fun to see it in person. But yeah, I filled up my suitcase, filled it with stuff from Target because we don't have them in Canada anymore. So yeah, that was that was the bulk of, of everything. And I, I literally had to sit on my suitcase to get it closed. So this year I'm bringing an extra one. 
Oh, so much fun. So, yeah. Hello, Mari. I was talking about you earlier. All good things. Just basically saying how much I, I'm, I'm going to, you know, miss having you babysit me on our tra on my travels to create. <laughs> oh, anyway. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be, I'm sure it's going to be an adventure, you know? Um, yeah, I was. Oh, yeah, because I think Christy was in my room when I was packing. Yeah, because, oh, that was chaos. Oh, that, that last day was nuts, too. Um, but yeah, I was literally like, Ugh, on top of my suitcase. <laughs> and I was so worried that I would get over the weight limit. But thankfully, I kept it because, you know, they, they hose you at the airport if you go over that weight limit. And I was, I think, just under the weight limit. Um, so, yeah. What kinds of things do you buy at Target? Oh, I bought, like, kids' clothes, some toys, random, like, thick packs of tea. Um, this is another little random tidbit. Columbus is a test market. I had a, uh, so many good conversations the last couple nights at Create. Columbus is a test market for a ton of brands, like big, big brands. They they put things in the stores to test in specifically in that location. And there's probably other test markets, you know, because they test things around the country, the world, whatever. But Columbus is one of them. So the person I was talking to, they're like, oh yeah, a lot of those things you probably found, he's like, you'll probably never see them again because they test them. And if they're not like widespread accepted, they just delete it from their line and move on to other things. So I bought all kinds of random random little things and yeah if I'd had the space I would have got like some home decor and different things but don't have the space for that but it was just fun it was fun to look at everything and touch everything and I had a good time so okay I've had to wear lots of layers to fly home when I bought too much stuff yeah I already was thinking that I might I was like depending on how things go I might just be like multiple layers um I'll do it if I have to. The thought, though, because even last year I was wearing like sweatpants and one of my big hoodies or whatever to travel in. And oh, I had some like, I think it was my winter jacket because when I flew out last year, I, we flew out in a blizzard. And then like the weather in Columbus is so random. And then flying back was kind of fine. But oh, we there was like technical difficulties on the second boarding like during the boarding and we were stuck on that plane for I think it was close to an hour not quite and I was dying it was so hot and I was sweating I was also hungover that is Ricky's fault he stole it was me for that that was we had a good time the last night at Create anyway <laughs> but yeah I oh I can't even and if I had had like multiple layers I not fun six pairs of knickers three sweaters cat you're hilarious <laughs> love it love it you gotta do what you gotta do you know when we're getting the things it's like yep <laughs> uh yes you have the Procter and Gamble headquarters in Cincinnati so you you test a lot of stuff in Ohio yes yes yeah Joey on friends yes that episode that's one of my favorite episodes where he's wearing like 15 well yeah it was Chandler's like outfits and his underwear and then he starts doing the lunges <laughs> One of my favorite episodes. Love it. Yeah, that'll be me if I buy too much stuff. You know, I'll just be going through the airport like this, you know, with all my clothing on. Oh, chaos. Just chaos. <laughs> Anywho, uh, you guys gave me a good laugh. All right. Well, I am going to wrap this up. I very much appreciate you guys hanging out with me and chatting with me. And just, yeah, tuning into my lives or my regular videos, all of it. I very much appreciate it. And like always, I will have the, the photos of the card, my blog posts, etc. It's all, all the social media just coming a little later today. I'll edit all the things and get that up. And then just stay tuned because, as always, I will have my regular videos, you know, my edited normal videos coming Sundays are always, we go live on Sundays, 2 p.m. Central. Um, I do have plans for like other lives. Usually those, I just do them very random, very random, very sporadic. Um, Cause it's more like, oh, I'm sitting here doing 
ink swatching or, you know, whatever. And I was like, why not go live and just chat with people while I do it? So those ones are very just random. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Um, I'd love to give everybody more of a heads up when I do those, but I never know what I'm, I don't even know what's going to happen tomorrow half the time, you know, we'll see. And the whole, the, I will be mulling the idea of getting back into doing like haul videos again. No promises. We'll just see. We'll just see where things, um, where things go. And, um, yeah, I, I miss doing them. They were fun. I just, just let them kind of go to the wayside. But now, now that I do lives regularly, um, that would actually be more fun to do like hauls as a live because then we could chat and then if people wanted to like oh I didn't catch like this thing so I can be like look at it you know that sort of a thing so it'll it's it's gonna simmer we'll see um we'll see where things go so appreciate you guys and yeah damn paid intern did good he's been gone for a while <laughs> he literally went out for a bike ride because it is beautiful out, and I'm gonna go get um other work done and yeah, I do too, Mari. They are, they're fun. Like I've watched a couple other makers haul videos somewhat recently. And that got me thinking about it too. Cause I was like, man, I, I miss haul videos. It's always fun to see products in person because yeah, images online don't at all. Like I was saying earlier and I already, oh, I put it away. That gold vellum that I showed, um, that I used on here. Um, I'm like catching everything. Cause yeah, the tonic tonics, gold vellum. When you look at like, cause I have it linked and when you click on it, you'll know exactly what I mean. When you look at the image on the product description, you know, looks absolutely nothing like it looks in real life. Like I ordered it on a whim because I had a feeling, you know, I was like, is this, is this my gold vellum? Is this, this what I, you know, cause I hadn't been able to link to it for so many years. Cause the, like I said, the stuff I used to use was discontinued years ago. And then I got it in like, once I got it in person, I was like, oh yeah, the image online does not do it justice at all. At all. Like, because again, vellum is finicky. Really. There no image of vellum's ever gonna do it justice. So yeah, it's, it's fun. Thanks for live. Hope to see you in Columbus. Yeah, as, as long as I make it, you know, as long as I don't get lost in, in New York or wherever, because you never know. You never know with me. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. And you guys have my back. You guys are great, honestly. Even when I like bring up the trolls and different things, they're very, very few. And I say this because there are other makers, like content creators, I mean, um, that watch, you know, my content. And some are new or some, you know, just smaller channels, yada, 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 that sort of a thing. And when it comes to like trolls, negative, ridiculous trash, um, I still firmly believe with card making, it is a very, very small percentage, um, depending on the content, um, because even in card making, it, it just depends. There's there's certain content that I refuse to make because it just seems to, like, bring the trolls out of the woodwork, if you know what I mean. Um, but even me, even me, who puts her foot in her mouth and has the, the type of personality that just likes to poke the bear. So I kind of bring out the trolls, whether I intend to or not. Sometimes it's on purpose. You know, sometimes it's on purpose. <laughs> but even then, it's very few, you know? Um, that doesn't excuse it. And, and I will always rally against it because yeah, as, as Tim Holtz says, and it's a quote that honestly, in some ways I want to get it like tattooed on me. If you don't have anything kind to say, find something kind to say versus if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. That's, you know, the original one, but he started saying that. And I was like, yes, right there, right there, you know? How how much better would everything be? Whether you're commenting on card making stuff or just, you know, online in general. If you don't have anything kind to say, find something kind to say. And as a last resort, if you absolutely hate it or if it's trash content, disengage. Walk away. Like, there just there's no need to, like, 
you know, because that's one I've received off and on more so lately is when people want to say something negative and they're like, I have a right to my opinion. And I'm like, you do. I didn't say you didn't. You just you don't have a right to me platforming it because it's my social media and I have the delete button and I have the block button and I have the ban button and I'm going to use it. And I have the right to screenshot it and blast you on social media. Because if you want to be a jackass, I'll expose you. Because I don't care. You know, if you want to act like that, I'm, I'm going to do it. Don't have to do it very often. Sometimes it happens back to back. It's like I really bring the trolls out. But yeah, it's not very often. It's been a long time. There have been a few here and there. Like little tiny ones. But I never shared screenshots. There hasn't been any drama. Life has been great. Um, but every once in a while. You know, they come out of the woodwork, they cause some chaos. I post screenshots of it because it's like, welcome to my like life. So, yeah. But again, it's it's few. It is few and far between. You know, it's I I just I do. I I've been doing this for over 20 years now, which is crazy. Crazy. Um and yeah, compared to other circles online. Um, I think card making has some of the best people really. And I'm not just talking about like the, the content creators, like it's you guys, like the audience and just us as a community. And then my specifically my community that I'm like fiercely protective of because it's like, I, I built this. You guys are my people. Um, I think I have some of the best ones. That's my opinion. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You're entitled to your own opinion in your own space. Exactly. Like, I don't expect anyone, you know, me spouting off here. Like, this is my space. And I'm spouting off, but nobody has to listen to it. You're not being forced to watch it. That's the other one. Because, you know, that, that me, when I started doing lives, that's one of the biggest uh, complaints I got. And again, it was few, few people uh, that whined and complained. And it's like, I don't have time for lives. I'm like, well, thankfully, you don't have to watch. Like nobody's forcing you like all your devices aren't tuned to me thank goodness can you imagine how awful that would be like tuned to me 24 7 that'd be horrible for everyone um you don't have to watch you know if, you, if lives are not your thing don't watch them there's so much content out there and if just me and in, in general like my regular videos if those are not your thing don't watch them there's so many makers out there to watch you know um yeah, it just, it just is. And if, if, if regular videos like edited video are not your thing and you prefer like shorts, go to those platforms and find the makers that post them. Cause I don't do that content cause I am old and they're a ton of work. I appreciate the people that make shorts and reels and whatever they call them. Um, I've done like two and it takes me as long to do one of those little like 90 second videos as it does to do a full like 20 minute YouTube video. So I, I can't, I can't at all. Um, so language is fluid. A splatter spatter chick has nothing on that. Yeah, that one. And that one was just, it could have just been a deep, just a conversation. That, that's what it could have been. But the person who started that just was nasty about it. Like their comment to me was rude when that, when it started. And I was just like, excuse you. Like one, you're, you're at, you're literally like incorrect for one, but all like, you're being rude about it. There was no need for that. And then what tr pushed me over the edge. And that's why I'm so petty with the whole splatter thing is she went and commented on other maker, like smaller makers and was like rude and condescending. And like if people were like upset, rightfully so. And I was like, okay, you took it too far that I am now taking up this mantle. I will die on this hill. It is splatter with an L for all of eternity. And then one of my wonderful peoples, and I forget your name, sent me the magnet. Splatter, spatter, splatter, doesn't matter. Um, which, you know, I just, I will troll on this one, you know, because it just is what it is. But yeah, when it comes to actual constructive criticism, feedback constructive feedback that was something else that someone told me because I was like I'm open to like constructive criticism and she's like honestly the term constructive feedback it has like a more positive connotation and I was like you're right you're totally right thank you 
I like that. Constructive feedback. You know, that's a wonderful thing. It's like, yeah, if you notice something and it's like, oh, you, whatever it is, I'm not going to start spouting examples but it's like no if there's something you notice you think that could be done a slightly different way or improve like if you leave a kind comment of constructive feedback you know said in a kind manner it's fine the person doesn't have to enact it or act upon it or or whatever and i've talked about this with you know you've got with me being stubborn i don't like being told what to do ever like you can't tell me what to do you're not my real dad but if someone's saying it in kindness, I will at least think about it. You know, I'll be like, maybe. And I just, because like, a lot of times, I just need to let things simmer. You know, in the back of my head, just let it simmer. And I'm like, maybe, maybe I can do this better. Or maybe, you know, maybe they had a point. Or it's like, no, they're full of crap. I like what I do. <laughs> you know, <laughs> is what it is. So anyway, those are all my random, um, random thoughts about um things anyone going to create oh that's cute needs <laughs> get a shirt that says amy's group i have been tell i've legit okay i have been telling people when it comes to like specific create because i will be there people that are watching you know people that know me you will literally have to remind me like to my face who you are whether you know you're one of my youtube you're whatever because I, I just, I, more than anything, I am going to be so overwhelmed. I'm just, it's, 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 it's so fun, but I'm so overwhelmed and it's like sensory overload, you know, cause there's just, there's people and there's, there's shiny things and, and crafting and just all this like fun stuff going on. And I am not, like I said, I'll probably be hiding under a table multiple points, like just and hiding in my room crying. <laughs> literally I'm not even kidding I I did that last year so I'm, I'm sure I'll do it again but you'll just have to tell me to my face like just you'll just be like I'm so and so I you know I, I watch you on YouTube or whatever and I'll be like that's awesome because I'm oh, yeah it's gonna be nuts so <laughs> yeah it helps just it give I I need all the reminders in the world Cause yeah, I'm, I'm positive last year. There were several people that I should have known who they were when they like introduced themselves to me or what, you know, whether they were like my patron supporters, that one I've been telling people, I was like, if any of my patron, like Patreon supporters show up, I was like, tell me to my face. Cause I'm like, I'll remember two days later. I'll be like, oh, that was so-and-so I should have, you know, said this and oh, oh, it's awful. So anyway, um, what, you can't remember the thousands of people you talk to online? I know, right? <laughs> I am horrible, though. Literally. I'm horrible with names. Always. I, I don't even want to admit how long it took me to remember my neighbor's name. And we've lived next to each other for many years. And Chris and I, and Chris is just as bad as I am. We're, we're so awful. And we'll be like, was it such and such? And we're like, I don't remember. I don't remember. And then they'll be outside and they'll be talking to each other and using each other's names. And we're like, that's that's their name because you feel like an idiot anyway that's me all the time 24 7 hi i don't remember people's names it's like you can introduce yourself i will forget your name the second you're done saying it i i try so hard but especially in situations like that where there's lots of people and just there's so much going on i am so overwhelmed it's it's bad like it's really bad like i'm just and i'm usually crying <laughs> it's bad it's really bad Oh, I did. Yes, Susan. The discount code in the description box below the video. For those watching live, because the if and those watching on the replay, if it's still today, which is April 7th. Yeah. April 7th, because that code expires tonight. Um it's in the description box below the video. And it expires. And Okay, uh ha! Mari, that's funny. <laughs> I made notes in my phone. Like I, and I sent messages to Chris. I was like, Hey, it's so-and-so and so-and-so and yeah, I know. Okay. So I'm glad I'm not, we're not the only ones that forget. <laughs> it's so awful. I mean, it's like you, you, especially like where we live, we're in suburbia. So it's like all our houses are like two feet apart from each other, you know? And it's like, we see and talk to these people all the time, but you forget, like, I just, Everyone needs to wear name tags, like, all the time. That was the one thing I liked about Create, is all of it, a lot of us had, like, the lanyards, at least that were taking the classes and stuff. And, yeah, so it had name tags, and I like that. I like name tags so much, because I'm like, 
yeah yeah you know i just and there was a couple instances i'm just now recalling that were so embarrassing when i was introduced there was like one person i was introduced to and i had no clue who this person was and yeah and it was and callie person was with them because callie was the one introducing this person and i was like okay and then like she literally had to pull out like their instagram you know and show me because he didn't have a name tag on and i was like oh my gosh like huge fan of your work you know all the things but like my brain was just not computing so that's fun so yeah yeah okay okay i'm glad to know that you guys are doing the same thing like sticky notes with your neighbor's name (laughs) so i'm not crazy that's good to know it's good to know I'm not the only one. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. We have a group text to update each other on the fur baby names too for the neighbors. That's awesome. I love that. I love that. Yeah. Because that's the thing though. I remember people's pets names before their names. And one of our, they're not a neighbor, but they live near us. She's real. she gets quite upset because I guess Chris she said that once like we've known them too for years like we run into them tons of times we've had conversations with them everything we know the dog's name I couldn't tell you for the life of me what her name is and yeah she had made that comment once she's like everyone remembers my dog's name but not mine and Chris and I were like have a nice day after the conversation we left and no idea what her name is 100% know what her dog's name is Although we always forgot what the dog's name was because I kept confusing it with another name because they were very similar. And when we'd go out for walks, their dog would like, you know, yap at us from there because their deck is really high. And we'd be like, oh, hi to like the dog. And she'd be out there and she would yell at us with the dog because we'd always get the dog's name wrong. So, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. Well, anywho, I had had fun. I was going to end this like way earlier. This ended up being super long, but it was fun. I enjoyed chatting with you guys. Um, yeah, you guys are, you guys are funny and I'm glad to know I'm not the only one with, with issues with, with people's names. So I won't feel as guilty. Um, because yeah, but I will see you guys next Sunday, 2 PM central. And then I will have other videos and you never know. I might have a live again this week. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I make no promises. I got so much on my plate. My life is legit chaos, but we deal with it. So I will talk to you guys later. Links to all the things are in the description box below. I'll do all the other stuff. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video.